Module 1, Lesson 1. REBA, Real Estate and Business Brokers Act, provides framework for the responsive regulation of real estate to protect consumers and uphold integrity of transactions, responsible by Ontario Ministry of Government and Consumer Services. Registrant, any individual or brokerage registered to trade in real estate. Code of Ethics, Regulation under REBA, Acceptable Conduct, Eliminates Ambiguity, Protects Buyers Slash Sellers. Fairness and Honesty. Conscientious and Competent Service. Services from Others, Advises Seller Slash Buyer to Get Outside Info if Unable to Provide. RICO, Real Estate Council of Ontario administers REBA on behalf of provincial government. Helps build and sustain public trust. RICO's mission, support fair, safe, informed real estate market for consumer in Ontario. While Ministry of Government and Consumer Services is responsible for REBA, RICO must interpret enforce and suggest modifications to the legislation. RICO's roles. Enforce registration, education, insurance standards. Addressing complaints, concerns of a brokerage, broker slash salesperson plus taking action. Consumer protection. Trading, any activity that furthers purchase, sale, exchange, option, lease, rental of property registrant, three categories. Brokerage. Although a registrant on its own, must designate broker as broker of record. Corporation, partnership, sole proprietorship that trades for profit. Brokers slash salespersons are all employees of the brokerage. Broker, registered as broker, employed by a brokerage to trade. Salesperson, registered as salesperson, employed by brokerage to trade. Broker of record, role, handle day-to-day, -day, responsible for everything, Provide support to employees. Any agreement with seller slash buyer made with brokerage not the agent a salesperson signs on behalf of the brokerage. The brokerage is the agent, you are a salesperson. Lesson 2. Become salesperson. Complete education requirements. Register with RICO once employed by brokerage, 12 months to register with brokerage and apply for registration with RICO. Purchase insurance through RICO Insurance Program, due mid-August, policy period begins September, protects registrants from all sorts of mishaps. Complete post-registration education within initial two-year registration cycle, 24 months, must complete it to renew registration and become permanent salesperson. Registration with RICO renewed every two years pre-registration learning path. Five courses, in-person simulation sessions, facilitated review sessions. Exam 1, Real Estate Essentials, Fundamentals, Role of Salesperson in Relation to REBA and Code of Ethics. Exam 2, Residential Real Estate Transactions, Theory plus SIM. Exam. Exam 3, Additional Residential Real Estate Transactions, Expands in Other Types like Condos, Rural Properties, etc. Theory plus SIM. Exam. Exam 4, Commercial Real Estate Transactions, Office, Retail, Business, etc. Getting Started Lesson 3 Skills used to become successful. Everything good you can think of, including planning, goal setting, discipline, confidence, tech savvy, interpersonal skills, etc. Lesson 4 Types of Real Estate Markets Seller's market, demand supply, more offers and bidding increases prices, properties sell quick, buyers are rushed to make a decision, etc. Once listed, activity is quick, must be available to review offers with seller for hours. As a buyer's salesperson, immediately act on houses that fit your consumer's criteria. Buyer's market, supply demand, more listings, listing periods extended, fewer buyers equals falling prices, Buyers take longer to decide. Takes long when listing, showings may not happen often. Buyer's salesperson, spend time showing, revisiting. Balanced market, supply equals demand, middle ground of listing time, negotiation, prices, etc. 
Listing, typical listing period. Buyer's salesperson, review listings each day. Expect appointment to show can be obtained in a day or two without worrying ITLL be taken. Types of real estate and career opportunities. Residential resale, extensive work with sellers slash buyers, handling emotional issues, irregular work hours. New home sales, little involvement with showings, listings, qualifying buyers and closing sale, purchase and sale agreement. Residential condominium, various condos and rules, various factors affecting it mostly to do with the condominium corporation like monthly fee charge or the corporation's financial stability. Rural, recreational, agricultural sales, wells and septic systems knowledge required, cottages, waterfront locations, unique regulations. Commercial, involves, retail, product selling, office, industrial, warehouse slash manufacturing space, investment properties. Leasing in commercial properties, tenants. Resale properties activites, steps in order. Seller. Representing seller, agreement to list a property is documented by a seller representation agreement between seller and brokerage. Marketing, cost borne to you whether it sells or not, clear plan, what materials used, intended market, media, hours, etc. Prospecting, the property, in terms of location, type and price range, provide you with a profile of a typical buyer, you can then target markets accordingly. X introducing yourself to neighbors, distributing property specific flyers in area, ensure other salespersons are aware of the listing as they will have ready buyers. Buyers. Showing, prepare, repair, know where everything is buyer. Determine buyers' wants and needs along with financial ability, select limited showings to. Avoid confusion, provide accurate info. Prepare, prepare offer upon request or intuition. Present offer, as listing salesperson, sign offer on different terms maybe. Monitor transaction after to ensure conditions are fulfilled. Lesson 5. For residential transaction, several weeks or months after agreement that brokerage is paid commission earned. Commercial, several months or years between listing, offer, transaction completed. Accepted offer must still fulfill conditions to complete transaction. Manage finances smart, create budget, realistic earning goals, track expenditures, find advice to claim expenses, separate business and personal expense. Expenses. Initial, application review fee, salesperson registration fee, RICO insurance, startup costs, website, signage, cards, etc. Ongoing, registration renews, annual RICO insurance. Marketing, office and transport related fees. Listing brokerage, working with seller, plus cooperating brokerage, working with buyer. Module 2. Real estate is a regulated profession and you must be a salesperson to do any act of trading in real estate, involves writing a weekly blog about real estate or providing advice to secure a future listing. Brokerage Listing brokerage, when a brokerage has listed a property for sale. Cooperating brokerage, working with buyer. Buyer's brokerage, self-selling, not affiliated with any other brokerage. Leasing equals renting equals possession of property rather than ownership. Landlord equals lessor equals grants lease. Lessee equals tenant equals leases property. A brokerage can represent or provide services. Representation works with client. Represents sellers or buyers plus their best interest. Provides services works with customer. Provides limited services mostly when buyer slash seller feels they're good without salesperson agreements representation agreement brokerage represents seller or buyer a relationship can be written or verbal agreement but must be reduced to written bef before an offer is made signed on behalf of brokerage and client reba requires copy immediately after signing z notation spot when working with seller listing agreement Z notation spot with buyer, representation agreement. Z notation spot customer service agreement, when brokerage provides services, non-exclusive, 
meaning a party can obtain services from another brokerage with no obligation to compensate the one with this agreement signed. Agreement of Purchase and Sale Document used to negotiate terms between seller and buyer, no standard form required, must be legible and a copy given to both buyer and seller. Xenotation Spot Commission Agreement Paid for services provided for sale or lease can be a percentage of sale amount, a fixed amount or both. The commission is usually set out in the representation agreement but for example, for a customer service agreement, the customer is not obliged to pay unless otherwise agreed in writing. Scope of Ownership Xenotation Spot Real Estate, Tangible Aspects Xenotation Spot Real Property, Tangible and Intangible Aspects that Add Value, Property Rights Equals Bundle of Rights Xenotation spot personal property, movable, consumer goods, appliances, drapes, etc., can be part of negotiation. Xenotation spot fixtures, type of personal property, usually permanent and included in purchase. Xenotation spot chattels equals personal property, but mobile, any chattel to remain should be identified on purchase and sale agreement, default excluded from purchase. Xenotation spot title, Legal ownership of land plus rights. Xenotation spot title searching, locating, organizing pertinent facts about documents and other related materials registered on title. Xenotation spot evidence of ownership, document used to show transfer of ownership or title or interest in real property, transfer slash deed of land. Xenotation spot completion date slash closing date, transfer of ownership between buyer and seller is completed specified on purchase and sale agreement. Mortgage, claim upon property given by owner to the lender as security for money borrowed, registered on title in land registry office, must be repaid in full when property sold. Once repaid a document, document is registered on title that discharges the mortgage off title. Mortgage is used under the Registry Act, when title is registered under the Land Titles Act is. Charge. Charge slash mortgage of land, document used to register the claim against a property discharge of charge slash mortgage, document used to remove the claim against property mortgagee, lender under Registry Act, chargee under Land Titles Act. Mortgager, borrower under Registry Act, charger under Land Titles Act. Borrower gives mortgage, lender gives financing. Residential structures, detached versus attached homes detached. Xenotation spot bungalow, one floor, older neighborhoods and older couples, ranch style bungalow offers more living space plus garage. Xenotation spot by level slash split entrance, more effective use of lower basement areas, split level between upper and lower areas, basement is raised above grade, more windows, sunlight, access and ventilation. Xenotation spot one and one half story, 60% of living area on first floor, cost-effective than bungalow as more square footage on same building coverage, high-pitched roof, dormers, attic. Xenotation spot two-story, popular, no upper angled ceilings. Xenotation spot split level, side split, from left to right layout, back split, front to rear, multiple levels of living. Attached. Share walls, reduces building cost, more housing on plots of land, aging Ontario population seek smaller quarters. Xenotation spot semi-detached, one wall attached, side by side, located on separately deemed lots. Xenotation spot townhouse, row house three or more units joint by party walls, full basement, main and upper level, developers attracted BC of ability to create more housing on the land as there is no additional yard space when they're attached, can be located on their own or part of condominium complex where unit owner owns structure and shares land as a common element with other unit owners. Xenotation spot linked dwelling, two or more single family homes attached, yet placement, placement attached portion of home is not always evident, many are attached below grade by a concrete wall, or above grade using garage walls, closer to property line than others in similar neighborhoods. Xenotation spot multi-unit residential dwellings, duplex, triplex, fourplex, more than one dwelling unit in a single building, divided vertically or horizontally into two attached dwelling units on a single lot, separate or shared entrance. Commercial. 
Xenotation Spot Office, freestanding small offices and retail operations to low and high-rise office complexes. Office parks with attractive suites are found in suburban areas on one or two floor buildings with landscaped areas, targeted to professional tenants. Xenotation Spot Retail, all service-based stores, outlets, malls, standalone, groupings, medical, a food, etc. Xenotation Spot Mixed Use, many are mixed, where office, retail and or residential are combined, involves three or more significant revenue-producing uses and must each be viewed as standalone, like an actual destination not just convenience for residents. Multi-unit, technically, any residential structure with more than one dwelling unit, however commercial multi-unit will include larger rental properties attractive to investors rather than owners, low, mid and high rise. Xenotation Spot Industrial, three types. Xenotation Spot General Purpose, wide range of operations possible. Xenotation Spot Special Purpose, limit potential use, like manufacturing plant or distribution center. Xenotation Spot Single Purpose, specific use, little or no potential for conversion to other purposes. Xenotation Spot Agricultural, significant in provincial economics, Large-scale farm operations require special-purpose buildings for livestock and crops. Mod Point 2 Lesson 2 Xenotation Spot REBA regulates real estate profession in Ontario. RICO administers REBA on behalf of provincial government. Xenotation Spot Provincial Government oversees real estate governance in Ontario, responsible for REBA. Xenotation Spot Ministry of Government and Consumer Services, responsible for REBA and general oversight of RICO, ensures legislation remains relevant over years of cha change. RICO Xenotation Spot delegated by provincial government to administer and enforce REBA, supports fair, safe, informed real estate market for consumers. Xenotation Spot Self-Managed, Not-for-Profit Corporation, Best Interest of Consumers professionalism, enforcing and suggesting modification to regulation, work with stakeholders to maximize value of regulation. Xenotation spot activities that support RICO's mandate of protecting public interest. Xenotation spot enforce standards to obtain and maintain registration as a registrant. Xenotation spot establish education standards, all education related, pre, post, renew. Xenotation Spot conduct inspections of brokerages to ensure compliance with REBA. Xenotation Spot address inquiries, complaints, take action. Xenotation Spot insurance. Xenotation Spot source of consumer protection, education and information in real estate. Xenotation Spot 12 member board of directors gives direction to CEO and senior management team. Board includes nine elected members and three non-registrant members appoint by Ministry of Government and Consumer Services. Xenotation Spot CEO responsible day-to-day -day management of RICO, Registrar carries out powers and duties imposed under REBA. Organized real estate is a voluntary membership consisting of local boards, provincial and territorial, and the Canadian Real Estate Association, CREA. Ontario's provincial association is the Ontario Real Estate Association, ORE. CREA, National Organization, offices in Ottawa, focuses on national and international representation of the real estate industry. Owners of Trademarks Realtor and MLS in Canada, operates Realtor.ca. Xenotation Spot, ORE, represents brokers and salesperson who are members of the province's real estate boards, many functions. Xenotation Spot maintains strong provincial lobbying voice for realtors. Xenotation Spot providing downloadable forms and clauses. Xenotation Spot offering savings programs. Xenotation Spot informing member of industry news. Xenotation Spot local real estate boards represent local area or region. Salesperson becomes, becomes member of CREA and ORIA and can call themselves a realtor. Local services provided to board members, like access to the multiple listing service, MLS, and local market info and data reports. Cray. Xenotation spot liaises with national organizations, like Canadian Construction Association, Urban Development Institute. 
Z-Notation Spot founded in 1943, post-war, desire for national voice for all real estate salespersons. Z-Notation Spot MLS grown since its inception in 1950s, listing info to members. Z-Notation Spot Realtor.ca provides consumer access to selected property information, advertising vehicle provided by realtors across Canada to help market properties. Consumers need to contact a realtor for all details about properties listed on site. Area. Z Notation Spot provides lobbying voice, like lobbying the provincial government against municipal land transfer tax. Any real estate professional that join an Ontario real estate board automatically becomes a member of CREA and OREA. Real estate boards. Z Notation Spot non-profit corporation for benefit of its members. Z Notation Spot each region has several local boards. Members pay dues to be affiliated with the board. TREB largest. Do bylaws abide of code of ethics can have different membership. Z Notation Spot authorized by CREA to use certain trademarks Real Estate Institute of Canada, REIC. Z Notation Spot not for profit, organized advance education, like. Z Notation Spot Fellow of the Real Estate Institute, FRI. Z Notation Spot Certified Property Manager, CPM. Z Notation Spot Certified Commercial Leasing Officer, CLO. Z Notation Spot Accredited Residential Manager, ARM, Certified Commercial Investment Member, CCIM, Institute. Z Notation Spot Education Programs and Services for Professionals, Award CCIM Designation to Individuals Completing Graduate Level Courses Based on Advanced Concepts and Techniques in Commercial Real Estate, for Core Courses. Society of Industrial and Office Realtors, SEOR. Z Notation Spot Leading International Organization of Commercial and Industrial Practitioners. Z Notation Spot Maintenance of High Standards. Lesson 3. Z, no Z Notation Spot Brokerage must designate broker of record. Broker of record must be a registered broker with RICO and employed by that brokerage. Broker of record must ensure compliance with acts and regulations for everything, all salespersons. Z Notation Spot actively participate in management, supervision of all working within brokerage, compliance with REBA, review and approval of trade-related documents, sign any brokerage financial statements as required by the registrar. A brokerage with multiple locations must register the main brokerage office and register the others as branch offices. Branch offices must be under supervision of a broker. Branches with more than one salesperson must be directly supervised by branch manager. A branch office with two or more registrants requires management by a broker or salesperson who's been registered for at least two years branch manager. Z Notation Spot provides supervision for those employed in the branch. Z Notation Spot take action for failure to comply with act or regulations. Z Notation Spot manage all record relating to the branch. Z Notation Spot a branch with one broker or salesperson only needs supervision of broker of record at head office listing salesperson. Z Notation Spot inspect property, compare market analysis to recommend price range, establish list price with seller. Z Notation Spot design marketing strategy. Z Notation Spot recommend changes homes for sale for showing. Z Notation Spot assist seller's lawyer where necessary to prepare for closing. Z Notation Spot provide after sale assistance as needed, etc. Buyer's salesperson. Z Notation Spot determine buyer's home desires, arrange showings, estimate value. Z Notation Spot ensure appropriate financials. Z Notation Spot present agreement of purchase and sale and negotiate agreement with seller or sellers. Representative. Mod 3, Lesson 1. Types of estates. Estate is an interest in land with various rights associated with ownership slash tenancy. Fee simple. Buying owns property, has all rights associated with this ownership. Z notation spot highest estate or absolute real property, has most rights and fewest limitation, limitations, can use, sell, lease, give away, enter, or refrain from any of these rights for an indeterminate amount of time. 
Z notation spot leasehold, leasing right to use and occupy property for specific amount of time property interests. Z notation spot air rights, rights to use space above physical surface of land, normally acquired for construction of bridge, piers, elevated streets and sidewalks, or entire buildings. X constructing a multi-level building above an existing use, like a railroad, requires air rights. Z notation spot surface rights, any right of land other than mining rights, owns rights to land excluding mineral rights, can be identified with a title search at a land registry office. Z notation spot riparian rights, rights allocated to owners of waterfront property, associated with access to and use of water. Z notation spot mineral rights, rights to enter or use land for purpose of removing minerals on or beneath it types of concurrent ownership, two or more persons hold ownership to same property simultaneously. Z notation spot joint tenancy, upon death of one, surviving tenants acquire whole interest in the property rather than being a part of the deceased person's estates, rights of survivorship. Z notation spot tenants in common, no rights of survivorship, interest of deceased person treated as asset of their estate, does not have to be equal ownership. For joint tenancy to exist, for conditions or unities must be present. Z notation spot title, must be same and create at same time in same document for all owners. Z notation spot time, interests of all joint tenants must be created at same time for same period. Z notation spot possession, each owner must have an equal, undivided ownership of property. Z notation spot interest, each joint tenant must have an undivided share of the property at the same time as the others. Condominium, form of ownership with a fee simple ownership of the unit and a tenant in common ownership of the portion used jointly with others known as common elements, halls, elevators, etc. Z notation spot a common elements condominium, CEC consists only of common elements and not units. Owners pay a maintenance, maintenance fee, have ownership interest in their own property and undivided interest in the common elements. Their property is tied to the CEC, referred to as a parcel of tied land, POTL. Ownership alternatives. Z notation spot cooperative. A property is owned by a corporation. Members have agreement to occupy a specific unit. Members may or may not hold shares in the cooperative. Z notation spot equity cooperative. Corporation owns land and buildings with members as shareholders in the corporation, different from condos as here they have shares in corporation. In condos ownership is by way of title to a specific unit. Non-profit cooperative, without shares, purpose to provide housing for members, no ownership interest, only pay rent to corporation owner. Z notation spot fractional ownership, shared ownership, individual partially own a valuable asset without putting up the money to purchase the whole asset outright, allows multiple buyers to get part of property title as tenants in common with usage rights depending on size of fraction purchased. Z notation spot co-ownership, two or more persons own property jointly, tenants in common ownership alternative, which deed outlines proportionate interest in property held by each owner. Z notation spot land lease, leasing of land only, rights to use the land for limited time, opportunity for consumers to own a home without added cost of land, if they lease their land to someone. Z notation spot life lease, person does not own property but an interest in the property in exchange for a lump sum payment upfront, has to pay monthly maintenance fees, right to occupy or live in a unit rather than owning it, lasts till end of leaseholder's life or until leaseholder decides to move. Additional property types and ownership alternatives. Z notation spot timeshare, division of property rights into fractional interests based on time. Z notation spot fee ownership interest, buyer purchases, purchases an actual deed interest in property for a specific period of time each year. Ownership does not end after a specific period of time and usage rights can be sold, gifted, include in a will. Z notation spot right to use interest, buyer purchases right to use unit but does not have ownership in property, buyer does not get title deed, only right to use for specific time period then revert back to the owner. Timeshare requirements. Z notation spot timeshare agreement in writing. 
Z-notation spot a consumer may cancel, cooling off period, without reason, from date of entering agreement until 10 days after receiving written copy of agreement. Z-notation spot can cancel within one year after date of entering agreement if does not receive copy of agreement or does not receive one that meets requirements. Mobile home parks, designed to be mobile and a permanent residence. Z-notation spot a mobile home park is land on which one or more mobile homes are located and includes rental units and facilities which landlord retains and for common use. Z-notation spot covered by provisions the Residential Tenancies Act, 2006. Z-notation spot agreement of purchase and sale, limited to dwelling and not the land, must identify dwelling specifics, manufacturer, model, site location if in mobile home park. Z notation spot whether moving home or not, agreement should include relevant SIT lease document with landlord residential tenancy agreement, standard form of lease. Houseboats. Z notation spot residential, vessels are perpetually harbored and thus static. Z notation spot recreational, vessels have residential furnishings and engines to propel them on water. Z notation spot must have right of dockage, access to utility hookups and access rights to the marina or docking facility. Similar to land lease. Mod 3, Lesson 2. Easement, right enjoyed by one landowner over the land of another, granted for a special purpose rather than general use and occupation of the land, does not grant ownership to any part of land, only a right to use for that special purpose, an interest that runs with the land, Binds subsequent owners and not eliminated just because property, property is sold. Six defining characteristics of easements. Z notation spot specific use. Z notation spot dominant and servient tenements, easements must be comprised of both. Z notation spot dominant tenement, estate or interest in land that derives benefit from an easement over a servient tenement, as in a right of way. Z notation spot servient tenement, land over which an easement exists in favor of a dominant tenement. Z notation spot two different parties, dominant and servient tenement properties cannot be owned by the same person. Z notation spot easements must solely benefit the dominant tenement. Z notation spot easements run with the land, once granted easements bind subsequent owners. Z notation spot dominant and servient tenement do not have to be adjoining. To get access to lake, third box, the first box has right of way over the second. So first box would be dominant tenement and second would be servient tenement, second box cannot construct anything on that portion of the property because of this easement giving the first box owner right of way. Easement creation. Z notation spot express grant whenever owner decides to grant a privilege in favor of another owner. Z notation spot prescription, X a neighboring owner has been openly using a narrow strip of land in the back of another property to access the back of their own property with their vehicle. The access has been continuous, exclusive, and open for many years without the consent of the owner but with the owner's knowledge. Z notation spot implication, created to avoid detrimental effects or inconvenience to an adjoining property owner. Z notation spot statute, minister may grant easement in or over public lands for any purpose, do not require a dominant tenement as the property owners, X utility company holds an easement in gross to access pipes and lines on a property. Easement termination. Z notation spot merge, easement is extinguished if the ownership of both dominant and servient tenements merge X, purchasing your neighbor's property. Release, release, dominant tenement can release the servient tenement by removing the easement from the title. Z notation spot ceasing of purpose, if purpose of easement disappears, so does the easement types of easements. Z notation spot right of way, allows another person to travel or pass through another person's land, for purpose of maintaining the easement and making repairs, maintenance and repairs involving public utilities often referred to as statutory easements. Z notation spot party wall, when registered owners of adjoining parcels of land enter into party wall agreement, any changes would have to be mutually agreed. Z notation spot mutual shared driveway, 
strip of land shared by adjoining neighbors used as a joint driveway for both parties. Private Restrictions Xenotation Spot Restrictive Covenant Contractual arrangement restricts what owner can do with their property, written into deed of a property and registered on title, transferable, run with land even to subsequent owners, must be negative and reasonable in nature. X parking restrictions, barred from placing signs, fence height and locations restrictions, etc. Xenotation spot encroachment, when property owner violates property rights of their neighbor by building structure wholly or partially on the neighboring property, usually unintentional, neighbors can sign an encroachment agreement which allows encroachment to continue for a determined time. X sheds, driveways, garages, walls, fences, etc. Xenotation spot adverse possession slash squatter's rights, when an individual who is not the owner, takes possession of the property, without owner's consent, claimant's possession must be visible, exclusive, and continuous for 10 years without consent of owner but with his knowledge. X neighbor installs encroaching fence, stays there for 10 years, owner says he's encroaching, but too late because of adverse possession. Xeno Xenotation spot profit a prandra, interest in land that gives a person right to enter another's property, based on a written, and take something from it like crops, minerals, fish, or timber. Government limitations on property ownership. Xenotation spot expropriation involves acquisition of private property by government for the public's best interest and use with fair compensation to the owner. Government exercises right of eminent domain, process in place to a landowner to object the expropriation and compensation being offered. Xenotation spot right to regulate, police power, right of government to regulate property for promotion of public safety, health, morals and general welfare, zoning bylaws, building codes, traffic are based on this. Xenotation spot right to levy taxes, right of government to levy taxes on property x real property tax, land transfer tax. Xenotation spot is cheat, reversion of property to government or government agency if property owner dies, leaving no will and having no legally qualified heir to whom property may pass. Mod 4, Lesson 1. Origins of Land Measurement. Xenotation spot England, 1620, Edmund Gunter designed Gunter's chain. Xenotation spot Ontario was initially surveyed using the chain and link method. Xenotation spot plots of land were known as concessions and further divided into lots. Xenotation spot one link equals 0.66 feet. Xenotation spot one chain equals 66 feet equals 100 links. Xenotation spot 80 chains equals one mile. Xenotation spot one concession equals 100 chains equals one and a quarter mile. 1792, Governor Simcoe, divided Ontario into counties following a river or lake or straight line through the bush, then divided into smaller parcels referred to as townships. Townships were square, but topography made it a rectangle or a regular line because of natural boundaries. Townships were divided into strips of land, concessions, numbered in Roman numerals beginning with I. Each concession was separated from the next one by a road allowance road allowance was not always road but remained public property. Each concession further divided into lots running at right angle to concessions and numbered in Arabic numerals, numerals from one. Lots sometimes divided by a road allowance, usually every fifth lot, or by a lot line. A parcel of land could then be described as the entirety of the lot and concession. X lot 5 in concession 3, in the township of any township, in the county of any county there were three types of townships. Xenotation spot single front township, oldest, found on banks of navigable lakes and rivers, 20 chains by 100 chains and contained 200 acres, standard road allowance was one chain wide, 66 feet. Xenotation spot double front township, lots to be 30 chains, 1980 feet, by 66.67 chains, 4,400 feet, patented or given legal identity, in half lots containing 100 acres. Xenotation spot sectional system township, 1,000 acre sections, lots were 20 chains by 50 chains with 100 acres. Initially, 
200-acre farm was identified by lot and concession. As population grew, smaller divisions of land were necessary but were based on dimensions without concern for precise directions and often did not reflect the written land, hence meets and bounds descriptions were made. Metes and Bounds Older system of written land made when irregular land parcels were carved out of concession lots. Xenotation spot start slash end at a commencement point of reference, boundary lines referenced according to compass directions, bearings, and distances between these boundary lines, goes around property. X north 20 degrees west for a distance of 300 feet, these descriptions fully enclose the property, all references must relate to the northerly bearing. Survey equals determination of boundaries of a piece of land, can identify land, locations of structures, distances to lot lines, encroachments, easements, or right-of-way. Xenotation spot surveys act references, and surveying as cadastral surveying, a technical term for the comprehensive recording of land and property bounds. Xenotation spot four components. Xenotation spot research, relevant data obtained by surveyor in preparing to visit the site and carry out their function, could be legal description, registered easements, encroachments, encroachments, restrictive covenants. Xenotation spot measurement. Xenotation spot monumentation, location of physical markers, posts, at property corners, and at intervals around boundary, could be existing or installed by surveyor. Xenotation spot plan slash report four types of surveys. Xenotation spot surveyors real property report, building location survey. Xenotation spot part one, plan of survey. Xenotation spot part two, the written report. Xenotation spot full survey of property, full monumentation not required, only front angles of property. Xenotation spot show everything that might affect title or enjoyment of property by owner. Xenotation spot must have. Xenotation spot municipal address and info regarding land titles or registry office designations. Xenotation spot dimensions and bearings of all property boundaries, determined by field survey. Xenotation spot designation of adjacent properties, roads, lands, etc. Xenotation spot location and description of notable improvements, including setbacks or minimum distance requirements to boundaries and projection of overhangs, eaves and fences, driveways, walkways, swimming pools, etc. Xenotation spot location of easements or right-of-way affecting property. Xenotation spot location and dimensions of visible encroachments onto or off property. Xenotation spot location of survey monuments found and placed. Xenotation spot note indicating for whom plan is prepared. Xenotation spot certification by an Ontario land surveyor. Xenotation spot written report. Xenotation spot reference plan, our plan. Describes more than one interest in land, each interest identified as a part, which is deposited, officially submitted, in a land registry office, buildings may or may not be shown on reference plans. All changes to land require a reference plan to be deposited in land registration office. Our plans are required for Xenotation spot severance of an existing parcel of land, as a formal consent. Xenotation spot first application, first registration, under the Land Titles Act. Xenotation spot when land registrar determines title is too vague or complex, our plan requested for clarity. Plan of survey, visual depiction of property, property without written report or required certification needed for surveyor's real property report, thus cannot be registered at land registration office, useful for homeowner establishing property bounds or securing building permit. Xenotation spot plan of subdivision, Detailed survey indicating lots and blocks of lands and roads. For future neighborhoods development illustrating future individual parcels. Xenotation spot each parcel within a plan of subdivision can be bought and sold independently of others within the same plan. Xenotation spot plans are assigned numbers at time of registration at the land registry office. Xenotation spot a registered plan of subdivision creates a new geographic identity for the land. X property previously described as part of lot 2, concession 3, 
township of any township, county of any county. Upon registration as a subdivision, legal identity would change to Lot Plan 99 M165, County of Any County The Acts Xenotation spot surveyors are subject to the Surveys Act and the Surveyors Act. Xenotation Spot Surveys Act sets out requirements for establishment slash re-establishment of survey items, lines, boundaries, corners. Xenotation Spot The Association of Ontario Land Surveyors operates under the provision of the Surveyors Act, Code of Ethic and Standards of Practice. Legal Land Descriptions Legal Land Description confirmed with source documents like deed or survey, if not in seller's possession. Secondary documents like registry and municipal assessment records or municipal tax bills can be used Legal Land Description, unique identifier for each parcel of land. It is a written description W slash three parts. Xenotation spot locational reference, various descriptors like lot number, part lot number, plan number, plan of subdivision number, or reference to section and parcel number. Xenotation spot encumbrances, restrictions registered on the property like easement, would be included in legal description. Xenotation spot municipality slash registry office. X locational reference, Lot 27, Plan 58 M1234, Encumbrance, S slash TLT 123456, Municipality, City of Any City. Abbreviations. LT, Lot. S, S slash T, Subject to PL, Plan. PT, Part. T slash W, Together with PCL, Parcel. Mod 4, Lesson 2. Registry Act, administrative official only, takes no responsibility for verifying title. Records property interests on a geographic basis, all lands within counties is registered at registry offices. Xenotation spot basic recording books, abstract books, abstract books in the registry office are divided on a township basis, each book covers particular farm lots within each concession and within each township. Xenotation spot subdivision plans were developed, legal description changed from a lot and concession reference to a plan number, each parcel of land within the plan was assigned a number, new abstract books accommodate these plans, with time too many books, too complex. Xenotation spot to search for particular lot, access plan, abstract, book and look up appropriate lot number. Xenotation spot crown patent, root of title. Land titles act, maintains and guarantees title. Xenotation spot acts as if the land titles registrar, a book like the abstract book in the registry, is the sole information source for purchasers. Xenotation spot land titles based on. Xenotation spot mirror principle, register of title is a mirror that accurately and completely reflects the current facts that are material to a person's title. Xenotation spot curtain principle, the register is the sole source of information for proposed buyers, who must not concern themselves with trusts and equities that lie behind this curtain of information. Xenotation spot insurance principle, mirror principle is deemed to give absolute correct reflection of title, if human error exists, that person is put in the same position as if it were true. Xenotation spot only existing and valid interests remain on registrar, rest are deleted. Xenotation spot all land registered by a plan of subdivision and all land on which condominiums are developed under the Condominium Act must be registered under this Act. Xenotation spot land registered under Registry Act may be brought under land titles by the owner through a process, process called first application, called administrative conversion, registry records to land titles. Xenotation spot all land title entries are by way of assigned parcel numbers, separate parcel record kept in register of title for each unit of ownership. Xenotation spot land title system features. Xenotation spot method of government registration of title to land in which the government guarantees the title and operates the registration process, certain limitations. Xenotation spot all transactions must be registered against the title in the provincially operated land titles office and are not valid in the form of mere instruments executed by parties as against other competing registered interests. 
Z-Notation Spot Certificate of Title Complete and Accurate Reflection of Preceding Transactions Affecting Property. Z-Notation Spot Assurance Fund provided for compensation to those who suffer loss due to errors or omissions of the registrar. Z-Notation Spot No title to land registered under the Act can be acquired by any length of possession or prescription, adverse possession. Each parcel of land is recorded in the register at the land title's office as a unit of property. The land is surveyed. Z-Notation Spot Land Titles Office officially referred to as the Land Registry Office for the Land Titles Division of the Regional Municipality or County of Name, each division overseen by a land registrar. Land is registered under either but never both. Land Titles Assurance Fund Z-Notation Spot persons deprived of ownership through errors or fraud are entitled to compensation, provided it cannot be obtained from other sources. Z-Notation Spot apply for compensation to the Director of Titles, amount will be determined by him, not confused with title insurance, insurance for owners and lenders. E-Registration Z-Notation Spot refers to tile documents being created, submitted and maintained in electronic form. Z-Notation Spot those with access to the TerraView slash Polaris system may register docs electronically from their offices or use a kiosk or request service in the applicable land registry office. Z-Notation Spot not all docs can be registered electron electronically, X crown grants, declaration slash description for registration of a condominium, complex doc W slash too much things, must be registered using paper-based methods. Z-Notation Spot initiated by means of dockets and messaging. Z-Notation Spot includes registration documents prepared by one lawyer with subsequent forwarding, messaging, by secure transmission to another user through the TerraView Gateway software. E-Registration Process Z-Notation Spot a seller's lawyer creates a transfer slash deed of land and sends a message to the buyer's lawyer. Allowing access to the document. Z-Notation Spot the buyer's lawyer adds buyer info and performs other steps in document preparation process. Z-Notation Spot once completed by both lawyers, ready for e-signatures, two are required, completeness and release. Completeness signature validates the accuracy of statements made and release signature confirms the document is ready for registration. Z-Notation Spot Polaris, Province of Ontario Land Registration and Information System. Mapping and Property Detail Database of the Ontario Government. Z-Notation Spot Automated Land Registration System operates based on title index, description of property ownership, and property mapping, surveys and plans, databases. Z-Notation Spot registers properties under a parcel basis like a land title system. The guarantee of title normally associated with land titles is not here. Z-Notation Spot by centralizing data electronically, search times are reduced, manual abstracting eliminated, access provided remotely. Permits user to find property by individual parcel with address, owner's name or PIN within title index, if first two unknown, PIN can be quickly location through block and property index maps. Z-Notation Spot Block Index Map Z-Notation Spot large traces of land within individual communities are organized in terms of blocks. User can use block index maps to find general location of property. Z-Notation Spot property index map. Z-Notation Spot user then views property index map for the appropriate property. Each map is a detailed expansion of individual blocks from block index map. Z-Notation Spot pin. PIN assigned when properties are converted to land titles and automated under Polaris system. X block hashtag 00114, property hashtag 0051, PIN 00114, 0051, combination of both. Z notation spot its implementation. Z notation spot costly, time consuming. Z Notation Spot TerraView and Geo Warehouse allow a salesperson or a client, like a lawyer, search parcel records within Polaris by entering one of the following. Z Notation Spot Unique 9 digit PIN. Z Notation Spot Municipal Address. Z Notation Spot Name. Z Notation Spot Registered Instrument Number. 
Z notation spot map. Z notation spot condominium plan. Z notation spot plan of subdivision. Z notation spot TerraView facilitates searches by accessing three different databases within Polaris. Z notation spot title index database. Z notation spot replaces abstract indexes and parcel registers found in traditional paper-based land registry office. Database is automatically updated as new documents are registered. Z notation spot property index database. Z notation spot visual indexing maps to locate properties updated with registration. Z notation spot image database. Z notation spot plans slash images of all active instruments in title index database updated with registration images from paper transferred online. Z notation spot Terranet responsible for implementation, operation, and enhancement of Polaris. Z notation spot in partnership with Service Ontario, built on land, web portal to deliver key statutory services relating to land and property ownership, search from anywhere by anyone. Z notation spot records are also being converted to land titles, referred as the land titles conversion project. Z notation spot transferring registry records into land titles and automating these records allows e-registration. Z notation spot parcelization process. Parcelizing refers to the organization of property by land ownership as opposed to geographic location in the registry. Z notation spot every property in Ontario is being identified geographically and assigned a parcel number. This number becomes central reference for a host of property details. Land titles conversion project. Conversion of registry documents to land titles coincident with a change to the automated Polaris system. Z notation spot TerraView, a software package providing an electronic gateway to automated property records in Ontario, including Polaris land registration system. Z notation spot a search process developed that accounts for all claims outstanding during the 40 year search period and establish owner, at least 10 years of ownership or the last three deeds are searched whichever is greater, to establish ownership. Z notation spot interests and claims recorded on the parcel index for the 40-year search period are carried forward to the automated parcel register, assumes errors already detected, if any occurs, compensated through land titles assurance fund. Z notation spot search process does not involve applications by individual owners supported by current surveys. Individual notification is not given and no hearings are held to resolve disputes concerning the extent of title, thus boundaries of land not included in application, not fixed, just like the first registration. Z notation spot title qualifications plus those set out in Land Titles Act are modified and legal advice should be sought. Land titles converted qualified versus land titles absolute. Z notation spot about 35% of the land and registry system was converted into land title system using the land titles absolute LTA system. Z notation spot LTA is issued for parcels that are brought into land titles by way of first application, titles subject to title qualifiers set out in land titles act. Z notation spot the remaining 65% of land was brought into land title system through the land titles conversion qualified LTCQ system. Z notation spot involves parcels that are brought into land titles during the administrative conversion from registry records to a land titles parcel. Z notation spot in the land titles conversion project, first application process was replaced with a large scale administrative conversion. Pre-established search procedure verifies existing titles within the registry. Z notation spot certification of title issued upon investigation and recommendation of representatives of Ministry of Government, Government and Consumer Services. Properties so converted bare initials LTCQ indicating land titles conversion qualified. Title to property insured with claims settled under land titles assurance fund. Z notation spot land titles conversion project. Large undertaking, lots of risk. Ministry of Government and Consumer Services determined that the title for all properties issued under land titles conversion would be given qualifications that differ slightly from normal land titles qualifications. X titles brought into land titles by conversion are subject to the rights of any person who would, but for the land title, 
be entitled to the land or parts through adverse possession, prescription, misdescription, or boundaries settled by convention. Owners wishing to develop property by registering a plan of subdivision or condominium on an LTCQ parcel must apply the title to a land title's absolute plus, means property is free of any encumbrances and title cannot be disputed by anyone. Resolution of any problems regarding boundaries and adverse claims is required before such plans are registered in the automated system. If an unresolvable problem is found during search process, property will not be converted to land titles. It will be automated and maintained in the registry system, may be converted later without a formal first application, as soon as missing title evidence supplied. Z-notation spot if major problem, conversion will not proceed, parcel will be entered in automated system as a registry parcel pending any possible further investigation. Forms used for land registration. The Land Registration Reform Act sets out five standard documents that can be e-registered. Z-notation spot form 1, transfer slash deed of land. Z-notation Zeno, spot to register a deed under registry or the land title system, conveys title or interest in property with full names of both sellers, transfers, and buyers, transferees, with B-days and any other person with an interest in the estate. Z-notation spot registered along with the land transfer tax affidavit, must accompany every document being registered in Ontario land registry offices that transfer an interest in land. Affidavit required by the Land Transfer Tax Act and Land Registrar is required to collect land transfer tax once this document is presented. Z-notation spot buyers may elect to pay land transfer tax directly to the Ministry of Finance, where details would not appear on the affidavit. Z-notation spot form 2, charge slash mortgage of land. Z-notation spot to register a mortgage under registry or the land title system, provides info on mortgage financing on property being listed or sold. Z-notation spot form 3, discharge of charge slash mortgage of land. Z-notation spot used when discharging a mortgage under registry or land title systems, executed by mortgagee and given to mortgager verifying that a mortgage loan has been repaid in full before, at, after the maturity date. Z notation spot document registered at land registration office as a permanent record of the discharge. Z notation spot must pay off debt and have discharge registered as evidence of removal of mortgage claim. Fee is charged. Sometimes, mortgager will pay off debt and fail to obtain a discharge. Z notation spot form 4, document general. Z notation spot a blank form meeting prescribed standards used to register any documents that are not a transfer charge, or discharge, used X for notices of liens on a property or a registration of a power of attorney. Z-notation spot form 5, schedule. Z-notation spot used as an attachment with other paper-based or e-forms, schedule can accompany any of the other four forms. Mod 5, REBA, Lesson 1. History of REBA. Z-notation spot earlier, there were no code of ethics and only CREA members were governed by the CREA code of ethics. In 97 foot RICO introduced its own code of ethics that applies to all registrants. Z-notation Zeno, spot REBA consists of the statute, the act, and five regulations, three of which have direct impact on registrants. RICO administers the act on behalf of the Ontario government. Z-notation spot three direct impacting regulations. Z notation spot Ontario regulation, O reg 567-05, general, includes regulations on registration, trust money, brokerage structure, and management. Z notation spot Ontario regulation 579-05, other, includes regulations on educational requirements, insurance, and records. Z notation spot Ontario regulation 580-05, Code of Ethics. Z notation spot additional requirements. Z notation spot delegation of regulation making authority to the Minister O. Reg. 568-05. Z notation spot delegation of regulation making authority to the Board of Administrative Authority O. Reg. 581-05. Z notation spot other regulations for consumer protection. 
X. There are three different areas that affect commission's impact of REBA on a salesperson. Eight parts for covered here. Z notation spot part three, prohibitions re, practice, addresses the restrictions affecting a brokerage and salesperson related to trading in real estate and the exemptions to registration. Z notation spot part four, registration, outlines the regulations regarding registration of a brokerage and a salesperson. Z notation spot part five, complaints, inspection, and discipline regulates procedures relating to complaints, brokerage inspections, and discipline proceedings. Z notation spot part six, conduct and offenses, regulates the conduct of a brokerage and salesperson with some sections focused on the interactions held with a seller or buyer. REBA Code of Ethics. Z notation spot identifies minimum standards a registrant must follow when trading in real estate, sets requirements for acceptable conduct to protect the public interest, ensure public confidence in professionalism of all registrants. Consequences of non-compliance with the Code of Ethics. Z notation spot strict penalties imposed by the discipline committee. A panel will hold hearing for final decision, could order salesperson to complete relevant educational courses, pay a fine, pay a fixed slash imposed cost. Z, no Z notation spot committee will publish a copy of its decision and reasons on website for at least 60 months. Mod 5, Lesson 2. Trading in real estate. Definition of a trade. Z notation spot disposition slash acquisition slash transaction of slash in real estate or offer slash attempt to list real estate for these purposes or in furtherance of any of these three. Z notation spot any activity that furthers a real estate transaction. X listing, showing, marketing, arrange a commercial lease, etc. Registration requirement to trade. Z notation spot brokerage, broker and salesperson must be registered under the act to perform any activities deemed to be a trade in real estate. Broker slash salesperson must be employed by brokerage to be registered under the act. Unregistered persons. Z notation spot a registrant can employ a person who is not registered to assist them when trading. Z notation spot permitted activities under guidance of a broker or salesperson. Z notation spot attend listing to assist, X take photos, measure rooms. Z notation spot set up listing files, complete marketing sheets based on data obtained by the salesperson. Z notation spot witness a seller or buyer signature. Z notation spot schedule appointments to show listed properties. Z notation spot draft an offer based on direction of a broker slash salesperson. Z notation spot provide listing info to consumers, X flyer. Z notation spot not permitted activities. Z notation spot be an active participant in a listing or offer presentation, like giving advice. Z notation spot explain or advise seller on changes to listing agreement. Z notation spot receive or acknowledge a notice on behalf of a seller or buyer. Z notation spot show property to a buyer, explain or negotiate an offer with seller or buyer. Z notation spot host an open house, perform prospecting like phone solicitation or door knocking exemptions to registration. Examples. Z notation spot auctioneer auctioning the property or other material of a retired farmer. Z notation spot full-time salaried employee working at a new home builder's site and representing the builder in negotiations. Z notation spot a lawyer settling an estate and selling a parcel of land on behalf of the estate. Z, no Z notation spot a financial institution disposing of a property under a mortgage default. Z notation spot a property owner selling their home privately. Z notation spot a property manager leasing an apartment on behalf of a landlord. Z notation spot trading in seasonal slash vacation rentals and commercial leases require registration as the exemption applies to a person who trades solely for purpose of arranging leases under Residential Tenancies Act. Notification of registration required. Z notation spot salesperson must be notified in writing that they are registered with RICO before trading. Z notation spot once application approved, 
Registration begins. eCopy is available on my Rico Certificate mobile app. Xenotation Spot Brokerage and a salesperson must be registered at the time of providing services relating to a trade to make claim for commission or other remuneration. Mod 5, Lesson 3 Broker of Record Requirements, I Xenotation Spot Brokerage must provide the registrar with name of broker of record in writing. If broker of record changes, brokerage must notify the registrar within five days of the change. Xenotation spot sole proprietorship, owner of brokerage and broker of record broker of record requirements, 2. Xenotation spot roles. Registration considerations, financial position. Xenotation spot when there is an application for registration or renewal of a registration, the registrar takes several things into consideration, one of the key ones being the applicant's financial position. Xenotation spot cannot be a corporation. Xenotation spot financial position. Xenotation spot application for registration requires disclosure of certain circumstances, including unpaid judgments or debts outstanding, bankruptcy or a consumer proposal, personal insolvency, or as a party to a bankruptcy or insolvency proceedings. Xenotation spot interested person, financial interest in other person's business exercises direct or indirect control over that individual or provides financing, does not need formal ownership position, if associated, deemed as interested party. Regis registration considerations, past conduct. Xenotation spot any past conduct that gives reasonable grounds that applicant will not conduct business responsibly registration considerations, false statements. Xenotation spot must provide full and complete info on application. Non-disclosure of required info or false statements made in the application may be considered as grounds for refusal to register by registrar. Registration considerations, refusal to register. If registrar believes applicant does not meet requirements regarding financial responsibility, past conduct, and false statements, registrar may. Xenotation spot refuse to register an applicant. Xenotation spot suspend or revoke a registration. Xenotation spot refuse to renew a registration. There are also additional conditions slash requirements on applicant for registration to be approved, X. Xenotation spot person W slash financial issues provides quarterly reports to registrar with proof of payments made to reduce debts, etc. Person W slash discharged bankruptcy agrees to not apply to be officer, director, partner, broker of record, etc. for a time period. Xenotation spot person W slash criminal charges enter into conditions where they keep registrar's office updated on. Court dates, disposition of charges, and court docs like judge's reason for sentencing. Notification given to applicant upon proposal to refuse slash suspend registration or renewal or apply conditions previously not stated. Mod 5, Lesson 4 Complaints, Request for Information Xenotation spot anyone can send complaint if impacted by actions of a registrant. Xenotation spot to assess complaint relevancy, RICO notifies registrant of complaint with details necessary for him to respond fully to allegations. RICO may also ask for more info and salesperson must give it within a time period after receiving a written request. Xenotation spot broker of record provided a copy of any complaint against an employee any necessary communication regarding the matter, and the final outcome. Xenotation Zeno spot RICO can discipline but not provide compensation in any form. Xenotation spot if complaint outside of RICO's jurisdiction, or no evidence to support claim, no action is taken. Xenotation spot various disciplinary actions taken depending on severity of offense. Xenotation spot progressive discipline, some infractions are honest mistakes, but if made repeatedly something is happening, RICO often take this approach. X first offense warning, correct problem, second offense warning plus course, correct problem plus take RICO advertising workshop course, third offense, discipline hearing, 
potential fine for broker of record and sales representative. Addressing complaints. Procedures registrar can take when handling a complaint. Xenotation spot acknowledgement and undertaking. RICO may accept an acknowledgement from a registrant of their non-compliant behavior and an undertaking that it will not be repeated. X. As an undertaking, registrant promises to follow all advertising guidelines. Xenotation spot apply voluntary conditions, RICO, with the registrant's consent, may apply voluntary conditions to a registration, conditions considered case by case. X. As condition, registrant agrees to submit all advertising to RICO for review for three months. Xenotation spot request a meeting. RICO may request meeting with registrant to discuss the complaint. He may receive an informal educational reminder, advice, or caution. X. A meeting with salesperson includes a review of requirements for disclosure to all buyers. Xenotation spot mediate or resolve complaint. Xenotation spot issue a written warning. RICO may issue a written warning that if the conduct that led to the complaint continues, further action may be taken. Xenotation spot require educational courses. RICO may require a registrant to take further educational courses addressing serious complaints. Xenotation spot immediate suspension to ensure consumer protection. Registrar proposal. When registrant is in contravention of the act or regulations, RICO can issue a notice of proposal. Proposal would identify action to be taken, be taken, such as revoking, suspending, etc. and the reasons for the action. Registrant can appeal the proposal to the license appeal tribunal within 15 days after service of the notice. If no request received, RICO carries out proposal. Xenotation spot director's action, the director, under REBA, may appoint investigators, search warrant, freeze order may be issued. Xenotation spot provincial offenses prosecution, legal prosecution, fines, prison. Xenotation spot refer to a law enforcement agency, where registrar is concerned a registrant's actions may constitute criminal activity, matter referred to municipal, provincial or federal law enforcement agency. Brokerage inspection. Xenotation spot RICO conducts inspections to ensure compliance with REBA, deal with a complaint, ensure registrant remains entitled to registration. Xenotation spot can inspect during reasonable hours. Inspectors must be provided access to all relevant to inspection. Consequence of violating code of ethics. Xenotation spot may be referred to the discipline committee to hear and determine whether registrant failed to comply with the code. Xenotation spot a panel is composed of three or more members of the discipline committee. Panel will hear the matter and decide if there has been an infraction plus give penalties. Appeals committee. Xenotation spot registrants may appeal a discipline committee decision to an appeal committee. RICO provides info required regarding anything or anyone. Mod 5, Lesson 5. Brokerage Trust Account. Xenotation spot all brokerages must establish and maintain a real estate trust account used to deposit all money received by the brokerage in trust for other persons in connection with the brokerage's trades. Xenotation spot these deposits are to be kept separate and apart from money belonging to the brokerage, all transactions authorized, all checks signed by, broker of record, he is responsible for all deposits and must complete monthly bank reconciliations to ensure there is no shortfall in funds. Xenotation spot a salesperson can assure a buyer that their deposit being held in brokerage's trust account is safeguarded and insured via the RICO insurance program, trust account deposits and disbursements. Xenotation spot must deposit funds within five business days of receipt. Xenotation spot must disperse funds from the trust account as soon as possible. Brokerage must be advised by the seller's lawyer that the transaction has closed and the funds can then be dispersed to pay towards the commission owed. Xenotation spot if a transaction does not close, funds may only be dispersed by Xenotation spot the seller and buyer signing a mutual release or direction agreeing to the disbursement. A court order authorizing the disbursement if the seller and buyer did not agree. 
Xenotation spot detailed disclosure regarding interest earned on trust funds. Determination of interest payment should be clearly outlined in the agreement of purchase and sale plus terms plus who is paid the earned interest. Xenotation spot receiving a buyer's deposit. Xenotation spot deposits should be made by check, money order, or bank draft and amounts must be exactly as agreed to in the agreement of purchase and sale. Xenotation spot certified check may be required in some instances to ensure funds are available. Xenotation spot where a cooperating brokerage receives a deposit that is directed to another party, X listing brokerage, a receipt from that brokerage should be obtained. Xenotation spot a buyer's salesperson should ensure buyer understands their obligations regarding a deposit and provide the deposit to the deposit holder without delay. Employment with a brokerage. Xenotation spot registrant cannot be employed by two brokerages at the same time commission restrictions. Xenotation spot calculating commission, an agreed amount, percentage of sale price slash rental price, or a combination of both. Xenotation spot commission percentage, percentages decrease as sale price or rental price increases. X listing identifies commission is 5% for the first $300,000 in selling price and then decreases to 4% for the balance of, balance of the selling price. If property sold for $650,000, the commission is calculate as 1. $300,000 at 5% equals $15,000. 2. $350,000 at 4% equals $14,000 for a total commission of $29,000. Xenotation spot prevailing rate. If no commission is agreed upon between buyer slash seller and a brokerage, the prevailing rate in the community is used, commission commonly charged for the particular services based on the property type in the marketplace. Xenotation spot prohibition. Commission based on the difference between the listing price and the selling price is not allowed, X property selling at $250,000, it's prohibited for commission to be an amount over the price the property sells for. Purchase, Purchase or, or sale, sale by, by a registrant. Requirements, requirements if a registrant directly or indirectly acquires or divests of an interest in real estate. Xenotation spot direct, direct interest, interest when a registrant is the buyer or seller. Xenotation spot indirect interest can be any benefit a registrant may gain from a transaction beyond the fees or commissions they may or may not stand to earn on the transaction. X. When a relative, such as a parent or child of the salesperson, is the seller or buyer. When a salesperson or their relative is a shareholder of a corporation or a partner in partnership that is selling or buying. When a salesperson or their relative has another role in the transaction that is not evident, such as being the lender slash mortgagee. Xenotation spot these obligations require a salesperson to provide a notice to all other parties and receive signed acknowledgments from those parties prior to making an offer. Notice must include Xenotation spot a statement that the individual is a salesperson, broker, or brokerage. Xenotation spot full disclosure of all known facts that may affect the value of the property. Xenotation spot details of any third-party negotiations for the subsequent sale of the property. Xenotation spot salesperson must retain a copy of the other party's written acknowledgement of the disclosure prior to presenting an offer. Xenotation, Xenotation spot disclosure must be separate document and cannot be included as a statement in an agreement of purchase and sale. Providing disclosures for buying or selling an interest in real estate. Xenotation spot direct and indirect interest. Xenotation spot disclosure. When a registrant is involved in a transaction where they have a personal interest in the outcome, be it direct or indirect, a written disclosure must be made, must happen before any offer is made and include the following info. Xenotation spot notice that they are a registered brokerage, broker, or salesperson. Xenotation spot all facts within their knowledge that may affect the value of the real estate involved. Xenotation spot notice of any negotiation, offer or agreement that they have conducted or that has been conducted on their behalf for the subsequent sale, lease, exchange or other disposition of an interest in the real estate to any other person. 
Zenotation spot details of any payment that will be received from anyone as part of the transaction, other than what is listed in a representation or customer service agreement must also be disclosed as required under Section 18 of the Code. Zenotation spot written acknowledgement. Salesperson must obtain written acknowledgement from the other parties that they have received the required disclosure before the offer can proceed. Steps. Zenotation spot identify that there is an indirect slash direct interest. Zenotation spot provided written disclosure of the interest. Zenotation spot obtain written acknowledgement of disclosure from the other parties prior to offer advertising practices that violate REBA. Zenotation spot misleading statement causes a reader to have a wrong idea or impression. Zenotation spot false statement can be shown to be factually incorrect. Zenotation spot deceptive statement causes something to be easily mistaken for something else or causes the reader to believe something that is not true, purposefully misleading. Zenotation spot inaccurate representation, making a statement that is true, but is vague or incomplete, could be considered an inaccurate representation in advertising. Violations for false advertising. Zeno Zenotation spot order false advertising to immediately stop. Zenotation spot order the registrant to retract the statement or publish a correction of equal prominence to the original advertising. Zenotation spot order the registrant to do both above. Registrar may require pre-approval of a registrant's advertising for up to one year. Potential penalties. Zenotation spot registration suspended or revoked. Registrant can be charged, pay compensation or restitution to the affected parties. Mod 5, Lesson 6. Zenotation spot honesty, integrity, best interest of client, informed decisions, full disclosure to clients, limited to customers. Zenotation spot must disclose material facts to provide conscientious and competent service. Zenotation spot a buyer's salesperson will be more involved in determining material facts affecting a property purchase as these may already be known by a seller. X. Zenotation spot condition of the structure such as a roof leak, mechanical or electrical deficiencies, or basement water seepage. Zenotation spot environmental hazards such as asbestos, lead, mold, or a previous use as a grow up. Zenotation spot building measurements or lot size. Zenotation spot property taxes. Mod 5, Lesson 7. Advertising methods. Zenotation spot identification of registrant. Zenotation spot all advertising by a registrant must clearly and prominently include the name of the registrant placing the advertisement, legal slash trade name, which is registered with RICO. Zenotation spot identification of individuals. If an individual's broker or salesperson is identified by name, the name used must be the name in which the broker or salesperson is registered with RICO. Zenotation spot identification of brokerage must clearly identify the brokerage. Zenotation spot description of registrant, correct, specific descriptions of the registration status must be noted, job title. Zenotation spot confusing terms, registrants must not use any terms to describe a registrant in an advertisement if the term could reasonably be confused with the registration status required by this section of the code, ex sales agent sales associate, or sales consultant are not permitted. Inaccurate representations. Zenotation spot cannot make incorrect statements, inaccurate, inaccurate representation of anything X. Salesperson advises a buyer client that what appears to be a minor crack in the foundation is nothing to worry about. A salesperson states a home is solid brick when it is a framed structure with a brick veneer exterior. Zenotation spot claims, promises, statements, cannot be vague or misleading. X of potential problem areas related to services provided by a registrant are Zenotation spot comparative rankings, e.g. hashtag 1 in brokerage in town. Claims about business volume or trading activity, e.g. over 100 transactions last year. Zenotation spot promises of saving or rebates, e.g. $1000 cash back. Zenotation spot honors or awards received by the registrant, e.g. President's Award. 
advertising leading practices. Several practices that should minimize the risk that a salesperson's advertising will face scrutiny. Comparative claims. Xenotation spot leading practices. Ensure any advertisement that expressly, or by implication, makes a comparative claim regarding a registrant's business performance, discloses the basis of that comparison or claim including disclosure of the details of the info used to make the claim and source of info. Statements regarding business volume slash trading. Xenotation spot leading practice. Ensure any advertisement that includes statements or claims that state, imply, allude, or refer to a volume of business or trading activity are accompanied by disclosure of how that claim has been determined, including the relevant time period. Claims that refer to volume of business or trading activity should disclose the identity of the salesperson, salesperson, or brokerage about whom that reference is made. When a team claim is used, the size of the team should be noted or identities of members of the team should be provided. Promises or statements regarding commission or savings. Xenotation spot leading practice. Ensure any advertising claims that refer to commission rates include disclosure of any conditions where commission rate would or, or would not be charged. Statements or indications of honors and awards. Xenotation spot leading practice, source and date of award or honor, should not refer to a shared award without indicating that is was shared, not an award if paid for. Avoid error, misrepresentation, and fraud, unprofessional conduct, abuse, and harassment. Xenotation spot provide conscientious and competent service. Xenotation spot act in seller slash buyer best interest. Xenotation spot demonstrate reasonable knowledge and competence in providing advice. Xenotation spot treat everyone with fairness, honesty, and integrity. Mod 6, Lesson 1. Definition of a contract. A legally binding agreement between two or more persons, competent at law to enter into such an agreement, for consideration or value, to do or refrain from doing something lawful. A contract is an agreement that confers a legal obligation on the relevant parties to do or not to do something. Xenotation spot promise made by one to another enforced by law. To be enforceable a contract requires an understanding between the parties to the contract to create a legal obligation or duty on one party to fulfill the promise and conferring a legal right on the other to demand as fulfillment. Xenotation spot the underlying intention of any contract is that it is binding on the parties, oral contracts, letters, or legal documents, any contract for acquisition or disposition of an interest in land must be in writing. Legislation impacting contracts. Xenotation spot legislation impacts the preparation of agreements for the sale or lease of real estate. Xenotation spot statute of frauds requires that all contracts involving the transfer of ownership of real estate must be in writing to be enforceable by law, exception, when a contract is verbal but parties begin to complete the contract, then it could be enforceable. Xenotation spot the vendors and purchasers act deem certain info to be included in every agreement of purchase and sale. Xenotation spot must be complete and accurately describe the subject of the agreement and the par parties. Intentions to be considered enforceable. Xenotation spot seller is not bound to produce any abstract of title, deed, copy of a deed, or other. Evidence of title except as are in the seller's possession or control. Xenotation spot buyer shall search the title at the buyer's own expense and shall make any objections within 30 days from the making of the contract. Xenotation spot seller has 30 days in which to remove any objection made to the title. If unable or unwilling to remove any objection that the buyer is not willing to waive, seller may cancel the contract and return any deposit made, but is not otherwise liable to the buyer. Xenotation spot taxes, local improvements, insurance premiums, rent and interest shall be adjusted as at the date of closing. Xenotation spot the conveyance, legal process of transferring of ownership from one party to another, shall be prepared by the seller and the mortgage, if any, by the buyer. Buyer shall bear expense of registration of the transfer slash deed and the discharge of the mortgage, if any. Xenotation spot buyer entitled to possession or receipt of rent and profits upon the date of closing of the transaction. 
Xenotation Spot Reba, identify requirements for the content and delivery of real estate agreements. Xenotation Spot All agreements reduced to writing at the earliest opportunity, signed by brokerage, submitted to the seller or buyer for signature. Xenotation Spot copies of representation agreements be immediately given to the seller or buyer. Xenotation Spot in terms of agreements for conveyancing real estate, Code requires that registrants use their best efforts to ensure that such agreements are in writing and legible and ensure all parties to an agreement receive a copy as soon as possible and ensure deposits and other documents relating to the agreement be delivered in accordance with the agreement of purchase and sale. Xenotation spot parole. Court says oral agreements are inadmissible in court to contradict a written contract, unless fraud or mistake, any changes to contract must be agreed upon by both parties in writing. Xenotation spot privity of contract, only parties to a contract, contract can enforce it or be bound by it create a binding contract. Essential elements. Xenotation spot offer and acceptance, mutual agreement between parties. Complete and definite in its terms. Xenotation spot open for acceptance for a reasonable time frame. Xenotation spot must be communicated to the offeree. Xenotation spot made to one or more persons or corporations, or to the public in general. Xenotation spot may be revoked or withdrawn prior to acceptance, subject to certain limitations. Xenotation spot once accepted, it is unconditional, any change is a counter offer. Xenotation spot capacity of parties, legally competent to make the contract. Xenotation spot incapable of contracting the mentally incompetent, the intoxicated, non est factum, whether person knew what was being signed, minor, age of majority, 18 for ONT. Xenotation Spot Corporation, does it exist and do they have right to enter into such a contract? Xenotation Spot Partnership, condominium slash cooperative and non-profit organizations can enter into contract. Xenotation Spot Consideration, each party must receive something of value. Xenotation Spot as long as value exists and is not extensively one-sided, it is valid or if no value, must be signed under seal, meaning you cannot change your mind. Xenotation Spot lawful object or purpose. Xenotation Spot past consideration or past promises not included in contract are not enforceable or binding. Xenotation Spot definite and clear, subject and terms of agreement must be stated clearly. Xenotation spot lawful object, the contractual agreement must be lawful, no price fixing slash criminal activity. Xenotation spot genuine intention, both parties must consent to the terms of the contract. Lack of genuine intention. Xenotation spot mistakes. Xenotation spot common mistake, both parties know the intention of the other, accept it, but are mistaken about an underlying fact. Xenotation spot mutual mistake, parties misunderstand each other, at cross purposes, contrary understanding. Xenotation spot unilateral mistake, one party is mistaken about a fundamental aspect of a contract. Xenotation spot misrepresentations. Xenotation spot innocent, statement by one party of a fact that is wrong, but honestly believed to be true. Xenotation spot fraudulent, made with knowledge of its falsity or with reckless disregard for its truth. Purpose must have been to induce other party to enter a contract, relied to the other party's prejudice. Xenotation spot negligent, if a misrepresentation is made without reasonable verification of its accuracy, then the person misled may lawsuit for damages. Xenotation spot duress or undue influence and failure to disclose. Xenotation spot duress or undue influence, improper use of one person's power over another to induce that person into a contract. Xenotation spot failure to disclose, non-disclosure of material latent defects might invalidate a contract. Latent defect is a defect not easily observable. A contract not fulfilling all requirements is void, never came into existence, voidable, originally valid but capable of being rejected by offended parties at a later time, or illegal, not enforceable by courts. 
Voidable, voidable contracts, contracts are enforceable until, until rendered void. void. Offended a party elects to fulfill or void contract. contract. Mod, Mod 6, 6, Lesson 3. 3. Breach, Breach of contract. Of contract. Xenotation, Xenotation spot, spot failure, failure to fulfill or perform, or perform obligation, obligation under contract by one of the contracting parties. parties. Xenotation spot, spot may result in conferring a right of legal action on party impacted by the breach or releasing the impacted party from further obligations. Xenotation spot fundamental breach, breach considered to go to the root of the contract. Xenotation spot in this case, the impacted party may Xenotation spot accept breach and treat themselves as released from further performance. Xenotation spot accept breach and start an action for damages against the breaching party. Xenotation spot treat contract as still in effect and waive breach. Xenotation spot seek other remedies, if available. Xenotation spot if breach does not go to the root of the contract, may give rise to the impacted party to sue for damages without an option to discharge the contract, sometimes referred to as a minor or compensable breach. Remedies for a breach of contract. Xenotation spot rescission, revocation or cancellation of a contract, set aside by court. Xenotation spot damages. Compensation for losses incurred, arising naturally, usual course of events from breach of contract, or may be reasonably expected to have been in the contemplation of parties at time contract was made. Xenotation spot quantum maroot, reasonable sum for services rendered, determination by courts that directs payment to claiming party. Xenotation spot specific performance, exceptional remedy, Order of court directing party in breach to carry out a specific obligation may only be awarded where damages are not an adequate remedy, contract is far and just, injured party acts promptly and fairly in making their claim. Xenotation spot injunction, where broken promise is to refrain from doing something. Court may award an injunction to restrain offending party from doing that act. Court order stopping a party from doing something wrongful. Termination of contract. Xenotation spot performance, obligations of performing party fulfilled, rights of other party satisfied. Xenotation spot mutual agreement. Xenotation spot impossibility of performance, unanticipated circumstances arising after making of contract. Xenotation spot operation of law, ex death of a party, bankruptcy, unauthorized unilateral alteration of contractual terms. Xenotation spot breach. Mod 6, Lesson 4. Electronic Commerce Act, e-signatures. Xenotation spot govern creation, recording, transmission, and storage of contracts electronically. Xenotation spot all agreements are allowed e-signatures. Xenotation spot fields are highlighted where signature required. Xenotation spot ensure acknowledgement is received. Xenotation spot allows authentication, confirms signature is from the right person, and authorized use, signature is permanent and tamper-proof to prevent fraudulent use of signature. Mod 6, Lesson 5. 10 Principles of Privacy, Pepita. Xenotation spot accountability, designate individuals accountable for organization's compliance with the following. Principles. Xenotation spot identifying purposes, purposes for collecting info is identified. Xenotation spot consent, knowledge and consent of individual for collection of personal info. Xenotation spot limiting collection, collection of info which is necessary. Xenotation spot limiting use, disclosure and retention. Retention, personal info used for purpose only. Xenotation spot accuracy, personal info shall be accurate, complete, and up-to-date as for purpose. Xenotation spot safeguards, personal info protected. Xenotation spot openness, its policies and practices are readily available. Xenotation spot individual access, individual informed of existence, use, and disclosure of their personal info. Xenotation spot challenging compliance. Individual can address a challenge concerning compliance with the principles. Three types of information, PEPIDA only applies to the first two types. 
Xenotation spot personal information. Info about an identifiable individual X name, address. Xenotation spot sensitive personal information. Subset of personal info dealing with sensitive data, X financial info. Xenotation spot personal facts. Non-identifiable facts, storage of personal facts is not regulated provided info is anonymous, X data in a demographic analysis. Brokerages must designate a privacy officer to ensure compliance with PEPIDA. Xenotation spot implement policies and procedures for personal info at the brokerage. Xenotation spot ensure adequate levels of security. Ensure consumers can correct or add details and access info stored by the brokerage. Xenotation spot include privacy provision statements in agreements. Xenotation spot brokerages must prepare a brochure for clients slash customers explaining about privacy legislation and how their info is protected. Must add a sentence that the brokerage complies with the privacy legislation in all promotional materials. Salesperson's obligations under PEPIDA. Xenotation spot state purpose of obtaining info and get consent. Xenotation spot identify to consumers the use of their personal info. Xenotation spot collect only info necessary. Xenotation spot disclose reason for collecting. Maintain privacy. Xenotation spot return info mod 6, lesson 6 matrimonial home. Xenotation spot every property in which a person has an interest and that is or, if the spouses have separated, was at the time of separation ordinarily occupied by the person and his or her spouse as their family residence is their matrimonial home, basically the family is living in that home. Matri matrimonial property. Xenotation spot any family asset not considered to be the matrimonial home with exceptions such as inheritances and insurance settlements. Xenotation spot both spouses have an equal right to possession of a matrimonial home even though only one is on the title. It is a personal right and not an interest in land. They can have more than one matrimonial home, X house and cottage. Designation of residence. Xenotation spot property deemed as the only family residence at the time of designation. Xenotation spot any property can be designated by both spouses as a matrimonial home by joint registration. All other matrimonial homes are then released from the protection of Part 2 of the Family Law Act and issues concerning possession and the consent of the non-owner spouse are eliminated. Xenotation spot if only one spouse completes a designation, all of the remaining matrimonial homes retain their status despite that registration. Spousal rights in a matrimonial home. Xenotation spot all parties consent to the transaction must obtain the signature of both spouses for all legal docs. Xenotation spot party who owns property will sign docs as a seller and the non-owner as spousal consent. Xenotation spot non-owner spouse has the right to be notified of any proceedings by a third party that could affect that possessory right. Xenotation spot spouse can also bring court application to determine ownership rights and to restrain the other spouse from disposing of property without consent. Rights of a common law spouse. Xenotation spot spouses include common law partners who have cohabited for more than three years or who cohabitate and the natural or adoptive parents of a child or children, same-sex partners. Xenotation spot spouses who live together and are not married may have a family home, but it is not a matrimonial home. Xenotation spot matrimonial versus family home. Xenotation spot one common law spouse owns the family home, they can sell or mortgage it without the other common law spouse's permission, but this is prohibited with matrimonial home of a legally married couple. In a common law relationship, in the event the family home is sold and relationship is dissolved, registered owner may be required to make arrangement for satisfactory accommodation of the common law spouse and or provide support payments. Mod 6, Lesson 7. Planning Act. Xenotation spot to promote sustainable economic development within the policy. Xenotation spot to provide for a land use planning system led by provincial policy. Xenotation spot integrate matters of provincial interest in provincial and municipal planning decisions. Xenotation spot to make planning processes fair by being open, accessible. 
Z-Notation Spot Planning Act provides framework for orderly land development, then gives general administrative control of the land use planning in Ontario to the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, who issues the provincial policy statements. Types of Municipalities Z-Notation Spot Single-Tier Municipality assumes all municipal responsibilities set out under the Municipal Act and other provincial legislation, ex-City of Toronto, Windsor, London, Sudbury, etc. Z-Notation Spot Upper Tier in the two-tier municipality formed by two or more lower-tier municipalities, Municipal responsibilities set out under the Municipal Act and other provincial legislation are split between the upper and lower tier municipalities. Upper is usually the region, county or district and are responsible for PrEP, adoption and revision of the official plan and the process, process of dividing and developing land. X of upper tier municipalities are counties like Wellington Conyuty, Simcoe County etc., or a regional municipality like Regional Municipality of York, Halton, Peel, Niagara, etc. Z-Notation Spot Lower Tier, in the two-tier municipality responsible for PrEP, adoption, and revision of the official plan and adoption of zoning bylaws, interim control bylaws and other bylaws, ex-City of Mississauga, Brampton, etc. When an upper tier exists it will often coordinate planning between the respective lower tier municipalities or assume responsibility of something upon agreement. Otherwise lower tier handles land use matters within its jurisdiction like location, type and density of development. Actual process of planning act carried out by municipal organizations, provincial government maintains the function of approving proposals, following passage by municipal council. Provincial interests are perfect planning within the province which everyone must follow. Z-Notation Spot Conservation and Management of Ecological Systems, Agricultural Resources, Natural Resources, Mineral Resources Base, and Spaces of Architectural, Cultural, Historical, and Archaeological Significance. Z-Notation Spot Accessibility for Persons with Disabilities to All Facilities and Services. Z-Notation Spot Adequate Provision and Efficient Use of Communication, Transportation, Sewage and Water Services, Waste Management Systems. Z-Notation Spot Adequate Provision and Distribution of Educational, Health, Social, Cultural and Recreational Facilities, Housing and Employment Opportunities. Resolution of Planning Conflicts Involving Public and Private Interests and Promotion of Sustainable Development. Z-Notation Spot promotion of built form that encourages a sense of place and provides spaces that are safe, attractive, and vibrant. Provincial policy statements contain major policy areas concerning management of change, promotion of efficient, cost-effective development, and land use patterns stimulation economic growth and protecting the environment and public health statement reviewed every five years. Policies to Z-Notation Spot support long-term planning for alternative and renewable energy sources like wind power. Z-Notation Spot discourage urban sprawl across Ontario by supporting intensification, expand on previous housing rather than build new ones. Z-Notation Spot protection of environment. Z-Notation Spot protect natural heritage resources. Z-Notation Spot promote development of affordable housing. Z-Notation Spot respond to concerns about loss of farmland by prohibiting retirement lots and residential infilling on prime agricultural lands. Z-Notation Spot support and protect rural areas official plan. Planning Act establishes parameters for the development of the official plan. Z-Notation Spot approved by Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Z-Notation Spot deals with locating new structures, what services will be needed. Z-Notation Spot Each municipality need to have an official plan. Z-Notation Spot describes upper, lower, single-tier municipal councils or planning board's policies on how land in the community should be used, extends for 10 to 15 years, reviewed every 5 to 10 years based on growth and needs of community. Z-Notation Spot in Ontario where there are no organized municipalities, responsibility of the application of the Planning Act, which would include development of an official plan if necessary, is the responsibility of the province of Ontario. Contains
Z notation spot goals, objectives, policies relating to physical change in regard to its effects on social, economic, and natural environment. Z notation spot where new things will be located, what services will be needed. Z notation spot description of measures and procedures to attain these objectives and inform public and obtain views regarding amendments to the plan. Purpose. Provide framework for future decision making and to respond in an organized fashion to trends and influences experienced by that municipality or anticipated. Creation. Z notation spot formal process including input from citizens approval process. Z notation spot usually requires approval by the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Z notation spot sometimes may not. Ex a regional government may be authorized by the ministry to approve local official plans within that region. Z notation spot once approved, no development can take place unless conforming to the official plan process slash timeline for review of official plan. Z notation spot an official plan amendment is a formal document that alters the current official plan. Z notation spot should be updated at least every five years to ensure the plan is consistent with the provincial policy statements. Mod 6, Lesson 8. Zoning bylaws. Z notation spot enacted by municipalities to identify permitted use, building structure standards. Z notation spot divided into classifications, like residential, and sub-classifications, like single family, as zoning bylaw. Z notation spot implements official plantings. Z notation spot legal method of managing land use and future development. Z notation spot protects community from conflicting and dangerous land uses. Z notation spot controls use of land and states exactly. Z notation spot how land may be used. Z notation spot where building and structures can be located. Z notation spot lot sizes and dimensions. Parking requirements, building heights, setback from the street, setback equals minimum distance of building from its surrounding property boundaries. Zoning designations. Six general uses. Each class further divided into subclasses or zones designated with symbols, residential, R, further categorized as R1, R2, R3, R4, etc., with higher numbers typically indicated greater density. Z notation spot residential, R. Z notation spot commercial. Z notation spot industrial. Z notation spot institutional. Open space. Z notation spot agricultural, AG. Residential bylaws. Sign bylaw. Distance of sign from curb, intersection, pedestrians, cyclists. Some signs like open house or for sale can be erected without obtaining a permit but others like promotional banners require a permit from municipality. Parking bylaw. Weight and dimensions of vehicle and requirement requirements like a current year license plate ID, number of vehicles on driveway or backyard. Typically municipalities prohibit obstruction of sidewalks. Parking exceptions may be made for courier delivery. Noise bylaw. Prohibits, prohibits noise, noise at any time, time that is likely to disturb others like late night or early morning. Activities involving a lot of noise like construction is limited to the daytime to minimize disturbance to residents. May specify decibel limits and timing for operating power equipment. Committee of Adjustment Appointed by Municipal Council of a Lower Tier Municipality, Land Division Committee appointed by a Upper Tier Municipality. Functions Z notation spot granting of minor variances. Z notation spot providing consents to server land. Z notation spot granting consents for the continuation of a non-conforming use minor variance and rezoning. Z notation spot minor variance for planning purpose is generally described as a small variation or modification concerning a property in relation to bylaws in force within a municipality. Rezoning application is required when a property owner wants to use property in a manner not permitted in the zoning bylaw and applies to amend the zoning bylaw. Council will only consider if the proposed use is in keeping with the official plan. 
Z notation spot minor variance is less time consuming and easier process, while rezoning application is more time consuming, more complex. Z notation spot granted by committee of adjustment X minor variance. Z notation spot a homeowner wants to build a detached garage extending six inches into the property lot line setback would need to apply for a minor variance from the committee of adjustment. Steps for minor variance application. Z notation spot pre-application consultation between applicant and municipal planners. Z notation spot preliminary project review to identify zoning bylaw requirements and prepare a list of the variances required by the proposal. Z notation spot submit a complete application and fee, timeline of 30 days until committee hearing and decision. Z notation spot schedule of hearing and posting of public notice sign. Z notation spot notice of public hearing and application de details circulated to area property owners. Z notation spot committee of adjustments hearing and decision, opportunity for third party appeal to local planning appeal tribunal. Z notation spot committee of adjustment decision final and binding. Z notation spot satisfying conditions of approval, if required, steps for rezoning. Z notation spot pre-application consultation between applicant and municipal planners. Z notation spot submit application with documents and fee, complete application decision, nine months timeline. Until final decision dash. Opportunity for motion for directinos to local planning approval tribunal. Z notation spot application circulation, community consultation, members of public invited to comment on application, plus technical response, impact of rezoning on municipal services, government agencies, and the official plan. Z notation spot preliminary report to community council, if applicable. Z notation spot response to applicant, X reviews indicate municipal services will not support the proposed development. Z notation spot application revision and resubmission, X applicant revises application to be consistent with current municipal services. Z notation spot recirculation, consultation, further revisions, finalization, and staff report, if required. Z notation spot public meeting at community council, if applicable. Z notation spot council decision, official plan amendment, if necessary, slash amended zoning bylaw in effect. Z notation spot opportunity for third party appeal to local planning approval tribunal non-conforming use and non-conforming structures. Z notation spot zoning bylaws are reviewed and amended regularly by municipalities to respond to community evolution. As a result of rezoning initiatives, Properties and existing structures may no longer comply with the new zoning bylaw. These are called non-conforming. Z notation spot non-conforming are legal because they used to comply, have an implicit non-conforming right to continue even though it is not longer permissible. This right is lost if the non-conforming use is discontinu discontinued for a certain time period. After cessation, the non-conforming use cannot be re-established. Z notation spot committee of adjustments may consider. Z notation spot continuous use of property, business existed, and will continue. Z notation spot demolition or substantial renovation of a structure, renovation may have to comply with the new zoning bylaws. Z notation spot expansion of the current use. Mod 6, Lesson 9. Land severance and plans of subdivision. Z notation spot landowners with a large parcel of land, if wanting to divide into two or three parcels, require consent, if wanting to divide into many parcels, application for subdivision required. Z notation spot no specific rule. Land severance. Approved division of a property into two or three new lots, or dividing a property in order to add part of the property to an existing lot, requires consent from the local municipality. Z notation spot landowners must seek official permission to server their property, as the indiscriminate division of land without formal approval could have long-term negative impact on the community. Consent granting authority. Z notation spot permission to sever lands is with local land division committee or a committee of adjustments. Z notation spot consent authority may be assigned to a council committee, an appointed official, or to the council itself. 
Xenotation spot generally, division of property into two or three smaller lots is usually submitted to a committee of adjustment, with more significant land division, such as a plan of subdivision, requires submission to local land division committee. Steps for land severance. Xenotation spot consult and determine authority, if property fronts on a municipal road, tier of the municipality has authority. Xenotation spot complete application. Xenotation spot including applicable consent application form, with sketches, and submit it to consent granting authority, application fee may apply. Xenotation spot application has. Xenotation spot name and address of owner. Xenotation spot type and purpose of proposed transaction. Xenotation spot name of person to which an interest in land is to be transferred or leased. Xenotation spot description of the property. Detailed info concerning the land being severed, severed and the land being retained. Xenotation spot any previous application relating to the subject land. Xenotation spot sketch outlining boundaries of land and any abutting lands owned by applicant. Xenotation spot description of previously severed lands from the lot, natural and artificial features. Xenotation spot use of adjoining land. Xenotation spot location of road allowances, streets, private roads, and right of way. Xenotation spot nature of any restrictive covenants or easements. Xenotation spot 90 day timeframe for making a decision. Xenotation spot application review, if required, a public meeting is held, the consent granting authority evaluates the merits of each proposal against criteria such as Xenotation spot conformity with official plan plus provincial policy statement, PPS, plus zoning bylaws. Xenotation spot sustainability. Xenotation spot vehicular access. Xenotation spot decision issued, refuse, consent or grant provisional consent, may have conditions. Xenotation spot appeal process, if applicable, decision sent to applicant and they can appeal to the local planning appeal tribunal who may dismiss it without holding a hearing or hold a hearing and make final decision. Xenotation spot issuing of certificate, if no appeal filed plus conditions satisfied, a deed for newly created lot is stamped with municipality consent and deed registered at the applicable land registry office. Xenotation spot, when severance consent is conditional, typically one year timeline given to satisfy conditions, steps for subdivision, draft plan approval. Landowner dividing lot into several lots, plan of subdivision necessary, two-stage process, draft plan approval and final plan approval. Xenotation spot consult and determine authority, usually upper tier municipality, region or district, city council. Xenotation spot prepare a draft plan, developer creates a draft plan in consultation with engineers, solicitors, surveyors, and planning consultants, requirements as in planning act. Xenotation spot boundaries of the land proposed to be subdivided. Xenotation spot locations and names of proposed highways in the plan or highways abutting the property. Xenotation spot adjacent subdivision and property in which the applicant has an interest. Xenotation spot proposed use, dimensions, and layout of proposed lots and existing uses of adjoining lands. Xenotation spot natural and artificial features. Xenotation spot soil conditions and existing contours slash elevations. Xenotation spot existing or planned municipal services. Xenotation spot nature and extent of restrictions affecting the land, such as from the conservation authority. Xenotation spot complete application. Each authority maintains application forms that require info identified by the minister's registration and other info required by the municipality. 180 day time frame for approval begins after completed application is received. Xenotation spot approval authority ensures notice of application sent to surrounding property owners and a public meeting may be held. Other agencies may be consulted to ensure compliance with the area and availability of services like clerks of the local municipality, county, region, and or district having jurisdiction for the area. Xenotation spot conservation authorities. Xenotation spot electric utilities, 
natural gas utilities, oil pipeline, utilities, oil pipeline, oil pipeline companies. companies. Xenotation spot local architectural conservation advisory committees. Xenotation spot Niagara Escarpment Commission and Federal Parks Commissions. Xenotation spot chiefs of First Nation councils within one kilometer of the area covered by the proposed plan of subdivision. Xenotation spot decision and notice of decision, draft plan approval notice of decision sent to applicant and those requesting notification, routinely mailed to neighboring landowners within a prescribed distance of the land. Notice includes description of the proposal plan, a map locating the property, source of additional info, statement concerning appeal and notification of a decision relating to the application. Xenotation spot appeal decision, if applicable mostly anyone can appeal to the local planning appeal tribunal, LPAT. Xenotation spot final plan approval, if final plan of subdivision not registered within a certain time period, approval authority may withdraw its approval. Xenotation spot final plan registration, new plan parcel register is created. Prepared by a land surveyor showing lots, blocks, or parcels of land intended to be dealt with separately and this type of separation has been fully approved, registered in the land registry office. Lots can then be sold and transferred. LPAT. Xenotation spot independent adjudicative tribunal that conducts hearings and make decisions on land use planning issues and other matters. Purpose. Xenotation spot hears cases in relation to a range of municipal planning, financial, and land matters, bylaws, subdivision plans, consents and minor variances, etc. Area of jurisdiction regarding first appeals. Xenotation spot appeals of a council decision to adopt or amend official plan. Xenotation spot appeals of a decision by an approval authority to approve a decision adopting or amending an official plan. Xenotation spot appeals of a council decision to refuse a private amendment to an official plan a non-decision, not deciding within 210 days, of a private amendment application. Xenotation spot appeal of a non-decision by an approval authority or on a subdivision area of jurisdiction regarding second appeals. Xenotation spot appeals on all issues that can have a first appeal. Xenotation spot appeals of a non-decision of a site plan application. Xenotation spot appeals of a committee of adjustment decision to approve or refuse a minor variance application, consent slash severance application. Purpose of LPA support center. Help people understand and navigate the land use planning and appeal process in Ontario. Xenotation spot establish and administer cost effective and efficient system for providing support services to eligible individuals. Xenotation spot establish policies and priorities for support services based on its financial resources. Xenotation spot X information on land use planning, guidance on tribunal procedures, advice or representation, etc. Mod 6, Lesson 10. Federal government oversees airport facilities slash lands, oceans, canal systems, municipalities, areas of influence. Xenotation spot public utilities. Xenotation spot waste management. Xenotation spot transportation, other than highways. Xenotation spot highways, public roads, including parking and traffic. Xenotation spot culture, parks, recreation, heritage. Xenotation spot drainage and flood control, except storm sewers. Xenotation spot structures, fences, signs. Xenotation spot parking, other than highways. Xenotation spot animal control. Xenotation spot economic development services. Mod 6, Lesson 11. Financial Transactions and Reports Analysis Center of Canada, FinTrack, is Canada's financial intelligence unit and has guidelines relating to financial transactions, including RE. Al Estate Brokerage's Role of FinTrack Xenotation Spot assists in detecting, preventing and deterring money laundering and terrorist financing. Xenotation Spot receive financial transaction reports and voluntary info on money laundering and terrorist financing. 
Zenotation Spot ensure compliance of reporting entities. Zenotation Spot enhance public awareness and understanding of money laundering and terrorist financing. Three salespersons obligations. Zenotation Spot know your client. Zenotation Spot understand your client. Zenotation Spot understand them enough to identify irregular slash suspicious transactions. Zenotation Spot ask how they found brokerage, learn about family, find out how they're connected in community and what they do for a living. Zenotation Spot ascertain slash verify client identity. Zenotation Spot single process method, photo ID. Zenotation Spot credit file method, use a Canadian credit file existing for at least three years to confirm all personal info. Dual process method, Use two independent and reliable sources to confirm identity. Zenotation Spot confirm two of three categories of info. Zenotation Spot name and address. Zenotation Spot name and DOB. Zenotation Spot name and financial account. Zenotation Spot if working with international client, have an agency to do it on your behalf. Zenotation Spot establish business relationship within five years two transactions within 30 days of the second. Zenotation Spot determine third-party involvement. Zenotation Spot who's providing instructions or supplying funds. Zenotation Spot ask if deal is solo or on someone else's behalf. Zenotation Spot obtain third-party name, address, DOB, person, or principal business, entity, or incorporation hashtag in place of issue, corporation. Must report. Zen Zenotation Spot Suspicious Transaction Reporting, STR Submit with Reasonable Grounds, Through Brokerages. Compliance Officer, Within 30 Days of Determining That a Transaction Is Suspicious. Zenotation Spot Large Cash Transaction Reporting, LCTR Report If you receive a $10,000 in a single transaction or multiple amounts from the same source, in a 24-hour period over $10,000, Submitted to FinTrack through Brokerage's Compliance Officer within 15 days of transaction. Zenotation Spot Terrorist Property Reporting. TPR no slash believe property is owned, controlled by terrorist or terrorist group. PCMLTFA Record Keeping Obligation must keep five kinds of records. Zenotation Spot Client Info Records, for five years. Zenotation Spot Receipt of Funds Records, for five years. Zenotation Spot Records of all submitted reports, STRs, LCTRs, or TPRs, STRs and LCTRs for five years, TPRs no time frame. Zenotation Spot Unrepresented Party Records, record measures taken to determine their ID and dates you did this. Not required to keep this info. Zenotation Spot Records of reasonable measures taken, record when reasonable measures were taken but unsuccessful. Dates and reasons why you were unsuccessful. Five additional obligations under the PCMLTFA for brokerages. Zenotation Spot name a compliance officer. Zenotation Spot have a written compliance policy and procedures. Zenotation Spot provide training to everyone acting on its behalf and keep records of events, attendees, minutes, material. Zenotation Spot complete a written risk assessment. Analysis of potential threats and vulnerabilities to money laundering and terrorist financing that the brokerage faces. Carry out a two-year program effectiveness review. Check for effectiveness of compliance program penalties. Zenotation spot non-compliance. Money $200,000 to $2 million. Zenotation spot administrative monetary penalties. Money $1 to $500,000. Mod 6, Lesson 12. Condominium Corporations Created with both a declaration, the condominium constitution, and the description, the diagrammatic presentation of the property. Declaration for creation of the condominium. Zenotation Spot Required Info Zenotation Spot Statement that the Condominium Act governs the corpor corporation. Zenotation Spot Consent of Registered Mortgagees Zenotation spot proportionate share of common elements appurtenant to each unit. 
Z notation spot proportionate contribution of unit owners to common expenses. Z notation spot corporation address for service. Z notation spot common elements for designated units, exclusive use common element, if applicable. Z notation spot any conditions required by approving authority description for creation of the condominium. The description contains a series of plans, surveys, and specifications describing the property and structures, together with certificates attesting to compliance and accuracy. Documentation will vary based on the individual project and typically includes Z notation spot plan of survey Z notation spot architectural plans and certificate of architect Z notation spot unit boundaries Z notation spot unit shape, dimension, and location Z notation spot structural plans, if any, and certificate of engineer Z notation spot certificate of Ontario land surveyor. Z notation spot all interests appurtenant to the land that is included in the property invoking the condominium act. Z notation spot it is a legislation that regulates most aspects of a condominium's formation, purchasing, and governance, each condominium document based on this act. Z notation spot the act is invoked by the declarant through the registration process. Z notation spot the declarant is the individual who holds the freehold or leasehold interest in the land on which the condominium sits. Z notation spot must have consent from registered encumbrancers against the property like mortgagees and lien holders. Forming and naming of a condominium corporation. Corporation without share capital is automatically formed upon incorporation in which members are the unit owners. Z notation spot declaration serves as a notice of creation of corporation ad describes property. Z notation spot land registrar for the applicable land registry office gives the corporation a name and a sequential number. X any city, South Condominium Corporation 986 residential condominium conversion projects. Z notation spot conversion of warehouses and industrial st structures into residential condominium lofts incorporating interesting features like large windows, framing, brick walls, becoming more popular as cities look to repurpose existing building stock. Z notation spot Ontario New Home Warranties Plan Act protects buyers of these condominiums. Z notation spot extension of provincial warranty coverage applying to projects where an agreement of purchase and sale of units in a conversion project is signed on or after January 1, 2018. Z notation spot condominium conversion of an existing residential building like an apartment block is not eligible for the provincial warranty coverage. To streamline disputes between condo owners and board, two independent authorities. Z notation spot condominium authority of Ontario. Z notation spot provides. Z notation spot affordable access to quicker and lower cost resolution of disputes. Z notation spot tools to prevent easily resolvable disputes. Z notation spot education and awareness for owners, directors, guide for buyers. Z notation spot registry of all condo core in Ontario. Z Notation Spot Condominium Management Regulatory Authority of Ontario Mandatory Training for Condo Board through Condominium Authority of Ontario Z Notation Spot Directors must take training that requires Z Notation Spot Directors complete training within six months of the date of their election Z Notation Spot do not have to retake training if they completed it within the preceding seven years Z notation spot directors appointed by a developer or elected by owners to the pre-turnover, controlled by the developer, are exempt from the training. Z notation spot failure to complete training equals disqualification from director. Condo reserve fund. Z notation spot all condos must have a reserve fund, separate from their operating fund, used for major repairs slash replacements. Portion of each owner's monthly common expenses fee is deposited into the reserve. If repair costs to common elements exceed reserve, owners will have to pay. Z Notation Spot Core must have a fund study the initial year and every three YRS after that key provisions of Condo Act. Rule, rules, regs, bylaws. 
Z-notation spot bylaws documents standard procedures and requirements for condos internal operations. Bylaws operated by board of directors and must have a majority of unit owners vote in favor BRD of directors. Z-notation spot can change but must provide copy of rules, effective date and notice that they may have a meeting. Z-notation spot rules not effective until approved at a requisitioned meeting within 30 days. No meeting equals rules are a go. Z-notation spot all owners must pay common expenses no matter what and any failure is like that of a mortgage. Z-notation spot status certificate contains info regarding status of individual unit, the operational, legal, financial dimensions of the condo corporation. Each person that requests it must get a certificate within 10 days after requesting the document for a fee no more than $100 plus tax. Z-notation spot restrictions to owner alterations and additions, renovations and repairs lack approvals or non-existent documents. Condo Corps may say no installations, alterations, temp or permanent improvements, etc. Condo Management CMRA, Condo Management Regulatory Authority of ON Z-notation spot issues four types of licenses, three of which are for people depending on education and experience in condo management. The last one is for condo management companies. Z-notation spot all licenses must be renewed annually, retake training courses, some exempt if providing services within the specialization of their profession. Code of ethics for condo management. Do everything right. X no gifts if it influences them, treat everyone honestly. Condo owner can file a formal complaint to CMRA if they believe a manager or company violated the code, may require site inspection and a hearing. CMRA handle complaints, look for mediation, but will discipline a hearing if needed, may. Mod 6, Lesson 13. Tenancy Types, Residential and Commercial. Z-notation spot if property used for business or commercial activity, the Commercial Tenancies Act applies. Z-notation spot if property used for residence, with some ex exceptions, Residential Tenancies Act applies Residential Tenancies Act. Z-notation spot rent negotiate prior to occupancy with landlord. Z-notation spot no charge of rent or increase permitted more than the lawful rent allowed. Z-notation spot security deposit cannot demand a security deposit over and above any rent deposit requested. Any reference to a security deposit is automatically deemed to be a rent deposit. Z-notation spot rent deposit must pay agreed amount every agreed upon time no more, weekly or monthly. Landlord must provide receipts relating to rents if requested by tenant. Rent increase. Landlord must give 90 days notice and can increase it more than the guideline in accordance with the act. Z-notation spot dispute resolution. Landlord and tenant board provides info about the act and resolves them, mediation or a hearing. Z-notation spot end of lease, end of lease, automatically converts to month by month periodic tenancy. Termination of lease requires notice with reasons and details. Length of notice period depends, but if tenant and landlord agree then a notice is not required. Commercial Tenancies Act. Z-notation spot rent determined by terms of lease agreement. Z-notation spot security deposit, negotiable. Z-notation spot rent deposit, permitted without restriction. Z-notation spot rent increase, no restrictions. Z-notation spot dispute resolution, conflict may be commend at the Superior Court of Justice or the Small Claims Court branch of the Superior Court of Justice. Z-notation spot end of lease, Landlord can terminate a month-to-month -month tenancy with a minimum one-month written notice. If lease ends itself, the tenant has no right to occupy it and may pay two months' rent every month they stay there. Landlord can get eviction order. Mod 7, Lesson 1. National Do Not Call List, DNCL. Z-notation spot calling someone who did not ask is telemarketing. Cannot contact these people, fine applicable. Z-notation spot if they will cold call, brokerage must register with national DNCL operator, subscribe to them and pay for subscription-based services. Z-notation spot brokerage must also have an internal brokerage, brokerage list, internal DNCL, 
Those who are contacted and say they don't want shit from the brokerage must be placed on this list. List must have date and time of request, consumer's name and contact info and phone hashtag. List must be kept for three years. Z-notation spot applies to residential consumers, not business consumers. Z-notation spot check that brokerage subscribes to national DNCL. Check their policies in calling, use internal DNCL, monitor both lists before calling. Canada's anti-spam legislation, CASL, does not apply to Twitter slash Facebook wall posts, websites, blogs, two-way voice communication, faxes plus voice recordings. CEM, electronic message encouraging participation in commercial activity requirements for sending a CEM. Z notation spot get consent, express written consent is recommended. Z notation spot identify yourself, name, details to business, contact info, valid for at least 60 days. Z notation spot means for recipient to withdraw consent. Z notation spot non-compliance equals dollar dollar. Sending unsolicited email promoting a commercial activity violates CASL. You need written or implicit consent first. Express consent. Z notation spot opted in through a sign up. Z notation spot can be oral or writing. Z notation spot silence or inaction cannot be construed as providing consent. Z notation spot consent obtained through an opt in mechanism rather than an opt out. Pre checked box not permitted. Implied consent. Z notation spot based on prior relationship, pre existing business relationship, made an inquiry within the last six months, existing non business relationship, recipient has published the email online in a business fashion. Consent in case of referral. Z notation spot not required in case of referral if Z notation spot referral was made by someone with a relationship to the recipient. Z notation spot full name of person making referral and a statement that the CEM is being sent because of the referral. Z notation spot can only send one CEM info required in CEM. Z notation spot ID of registrant, registered name, plus designation. Z notation spot ID of brokerage, registered name CEM guidelines. Don't use confusing terms like sales agent, associate or consultant. Don't include details of property unless consent is obtained of all parties involved, buyer-seller, competition act. Addresses form of competition, protect consumers. Z notation spot misleading ads. Z notation spot conspiracies, unlawful agreements between competitors to fix or increase prices, manipulate markets to control output. Z notation spot price maintenance, Person attempts to influence prices upwardly or by discouraging individuals offering lower prices. Also, if salesperson refuses to negotiate because a competitor's pricing policy, commission structure, or business model. Z notation spot bid rigging, agreement in response to call or request for bids, where bidders agree not to submit bids or submit prearranged bids, criminal offense. Maintaining compliance with Competition Act. Z notation spot do not collude, discriminate, mislead. Do not discuss your brokerage's commission structure. Mod 7, Lesson 2. Capital gain, net increase in value of a capital property from date of purchase to the date property is sold, X cottage, investment duplex, land, buildings, shares, bonds, funds, trust units. Z notation spot 50% of the net proceeds is added to the income of taxpayer and taxed at the appropriate tax rate. Business income, income a person earned from an activity undertaken for profit, income from a house painting or consulting business, rental income, excluding salaries received by employer. Z notation spot net income after deducting expenses is taxed both taxed differently. Factors considered to distinguish between capital income and business income, if investigated by CRA, addressed by CRA Resolution Process or the Tax Court of Canada. Z notation spot intention of taxpayer when they purchase property, if they bought it as an investment with intention to resell for a profit, could consider it as business income. Z notation spot relationship to taxpayer's business, 
If taxpayer uses expertise acquired in their day-to-day -day business to generate a profit on the sale or purchase of a similar commodity. X salesperson buying for themselves and make profit on sale could be considered business income. Z notation spot frequency of transaction. How often a taxpayer engages in the sale of capital property. Frequency suggests conducting business for profit equals Bucina's income. Z notation spot nature of transaction and assets. Taxability as income may be indicated if the asset cannot normally be used personally or for investment purposes. X mortgage purchased at huge discount. Mortgagee viewed as being in a business that realizes profits, thus invoking business income. Z notation spot objects of the corporation. If transaction falls under objects of corporation, and if it is part of usual business activities, may decide sale of real estate for profit is taxable, even if not stated as an objective of the corporation. Salesperson's obligation. Property subject to capital gains tax may include Z notation spot sale of a single family home used as a rental property. Z notation spot sale of a cottage that is not the seller's principal residence. Z notation spot sale of a property that was inherited and temporarily rented but never lived in by the seller. Z notation spot sale of a commercial property, whether occupied by the owner or tenanted principal residence. Z notation spot a house, an apartment in a duplex or apartment building or condominium, a cottage, houseboat, trailer or mobile home, or a share in a cooperative where a person usually lives. Z notation spot principal residence generally excluded from taxation, taxes are payable on business and investment income. Property sold, increase in value is capital gain. If property was only a principal residence, seller does not have to pay tax on the capital gain. If at any time it wasn't principal residence, seller may have to pay proportionate capital gains tax. Z notation spot to qualify as a principal residence. Z notation spot taxpayer must own housing unit. Z notation spot family unit may only have one principal residence at a time. Z notation spot land upon which housing sits cannot exceed about 1.24 acres unless they can prove they require more land for personal personal use and enjoyment. Z notation spot ordinarily inhabited in the year. Z notation spot designated as taxpayer's principal residence for the year. Z notation spot for tax, tell M to get professional. Impact of the Income Tax Act on the sale of a property by a non-resident. Z notation spot buyer expected to make reasonable inquiry about seller's residency status to protect themselves. Z notation spot if seller is resident of Canada, buyer's lawyer will ask the seller's lawyer to have the seller sign a statutory declaration that they are not a non-resident. Z notation spot if seller is non-resident, seller may pay the tax liability in advance of the completion of sale, calculated using estimated sale proceeds minus the property's adjusted cost base, original price paid for property plus legal fees slash commissions and capital costs for improvements. Z notation spot once seller files documents and pays taxes, Minister of National Revenue issues a certificate, if seller gets this before closing, no credit needs to be applied, and because buyer demonstrated reasonable inquiry, no tax liability concern to the buyer, otherwise, seller must give a credit to buyer at closing to cover tax liability. Z notation spot funds must be paid by the buyer on the seller's behalf within 10 days following sale completion. Z notation spot if certificate not received before closing, Buyer's lawyer will hold back 25% of sale price to have money to pay the seller's tax liability and protect buyer from being responsible for it. Z notation spot if buyer does not consider residency status of seller slash tax liability of the non-resident seller and pays full purchase price to seller, buyer could become liable for payment of capital gains taxes. Z notation spot residency clause in agreement of purchase and sale directed to non-resident seller disposing of Canadian property, tax calculated based on anticipated capital gains payable. Mod 7, Lesson 3. EPA. Primary environmental legislation impacting ownership and use of real property in Ontario. Z notation spot ensure health of environment is protected, 
risks are assessed, remediation is carried out, citizen participation, participation encouraged. Purpose of this legislation is to prevent pollution and protect environment and human health role of Ministry of Environment, Conservation and Parks. Xenotation Spot works to promote clean and safe air, land and water. Xenotation Spot investigate matters concerning pollution, waste management, litter management to protect and conserve the natural environment. Can search and seizure, enter and search premises, interview individuals, examine documents to ensure that violations of the EPA are dealt with. Xenotation Spot can issue various licenses, permits, certificates of approval for Xenotation Spot permits relating to private water wells. Xenotation Spot approvals concerning herbicide use by cottage owners to control aquatic plant life. Xenotation Spot remediation of contaminated lands. Xenotation Spot land development and associated sewage works. Xenotation Spot haulage of septic waste. Xenotation Spot air quality including the control of emissions. Xenotation Spot issues approvals to allow businesses to emit a certain amount of pollution, chemical, odors, noise. Xenotation Spot Every person who causes or permits a spill and has control over the contaminant must notify the Ministry of Environment, Conservation and Parks in the affected municipality about the spill and must take steps to remedy. Xenotation Spot If they refuse to comply with an order, Ministry will do it and ask them to pay. Xenotation Spot Environmental Site Assessment may be required for ways to minimize risk to ENV. Xenotation Spot Be well informed. Xenotation Spot Ensure honesty and fairness in negotiations. Xenotation Spot Draft accurate agreements slash contracts. Xenotation Spot Seek expert advice when necessary environmental site assessment. Xenotation Spot To determine if any environmental contamination petroleum, and any contamination within the building, such as asbestos. Xenotation Spot Anyone who has or had ownership or possession over a contaminated property and those who caused it can be found liable for civil and regulatory liability, fines slash imprisonment. Xenotation Spot If assessment indicates further investigation and possible remediation are needed, this may negatively impact transaction buyer will require the seller to provide a phase 3 remediation report indicating the contamination has been remediated according to the ministry the ministry guideline plus reliance letter in favor of the buyer or buyer's lender three phases in ENV assessments phase 1 environmental site assessment xenotation spot done by a certified environmental site assessor to identify potential contamination Xenotation Spot Assessor Will Xenotation Spot Visit Property for Visual Evidence Xenotation Spot Reviews Background Documents, plus Historical Aerial Photos and Title Searches and Requests for Info from Ministry of ENV or Municipality Interviews Site Personnel, Government Officials, and Third Parties Xenotation Spot Finally, Reports Findings and Conclusions Xenotation spot no lab testing, sample gathering, intrusive investigation, physical analysis is required. Xenotation spot just determines if reasons exist to believe a property may have a form of contamination phase 2, environmental site assessment. Xenotation spot triggered by phase 1 assessment that raises possibility of contamination. Xenotation spot attempts to. Xenotation spot confirm if ENV. Problems exists. Xenotation spot quantify the extent of contamination. Xenotation spot suggest a remediation plan to resolve the issue. Xenotation spot requires collecting samples of soil and groundwater by on-site drilling, which are put through physical analysis and lab testing to see if contamination exists and to what extent. Xenotation spot reviews and reports results. Phase 3, Environmental Site Assessment Xenotation Spot Developing an Environmental Remediation Strategy, Work Plan to Carry Out Xenotation Spot Remediation of Site Xenotation Spot Report to Confirm if Remediation Successful and Meets Required Guidelines 
Xenotation spot once complete, formal report provided, might outline follow-up to monitor for residual contaminants and confirms contaminant removal, treatment, and status of site. Xenotation spot if remediation not feasible, report may include a site-specific risk assessment, SSRA, defining level of contamination and if there is a developable use with restrictions. Mod 7, Lesson 4 Provincial Policy Statement Under Planning Act and Greenbelt Plan Xenotation Spot Statement of Government's Policies on Land Use Planning Zeno Xenotation Spot Greenbelt Plan Protect the Greenbelt Xenotation Spot Greenbelt Plan Oak Ridge's Moraine Conservation Plan Niagara Escarpment Plan work together to determine where urbanization should not take place. Land protected by the Greenbelt Plan. Xenotation Spot Oak Ridges Moraine, the Niagara Escarpment, Parkway Belt West Plan Area, and the Glenarchy Conservation Area. Xenotation Spot If you have a client, take reasonable steps to determine material facts of property affecting their decision to sell or buy. Xenotation spot if you providing customer service to seller or buyer, disclose material facts related to purchase and sale that you know or ought to know. Golden Horseshoe Growth Plan Xenotation spot Greenbelt is part of Ontario's Greater Golden Horseshoe Growth Plan, Growth Plan. Xenotation spot Growth Plan clarifies where and how future urban structural growth should be accommodated to protect future generations. The Greenbelt Plan, Niagara Escarpment Plan, and the Oak Ridges Moraine Conservation Plan use the Provincial Policy Statement to support economy, environment and social infrastructure. Xenotation Spot Take Together, these plans specify Ontario's climate change strategy, the Gov's commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions impact of Greenbelt Plan. Xenotation spot may affect owners looking to develop vacant land or expand properties within the Greenbelt Plan areas, advise them to seek legal advice. Endangered Species Act Xenotation spot extirpated, exists somewhere in the world and at one time existed in the wild in Ontario but is now extinct in Ontario. Xenotation spot endangered, exists in the wild in Ontario but is facing possible extinction or extirpation. Xenotation spot threatened, exists in the wild in Ontario and is not endangered, but steps need to be taken to address factors threatening it. Xenotation spot special concern, exists in the wild in Ontario and is not endangered or threatened, but biological characteristics and or identified threats may cause it to become threatened or endangered. Xenotation spot plants and animals endangered, threatened, or extirpated are automatically protected from harm or harassment plus their habitat. Xenotation Spot Endangered Species Species Act set out timelines to strategize and plan recovery for at-risk species, tools to help reduce human impact on species and their habitats, tools to promote protection and recovery. Xenotation Spot Permit required to build a new subdivision or install infrastructure that will affect a newly protected species or habitat it establishes certain rules depending on Xenotation spot when project received approval Xenotation spot when work began or will begin Xenotation spot project's current status Xenotation spot project type Xenotation spot when a species was classified as threatened or endangered Xenotation Spot Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry can grant different types of permits for activities otherwise not allowed. Mod 7, Lesson 5 Role of Natural Resources Canada, NRCAN Xenotation Spot help Canadians take advantage of reducing energy costs, emissions, and increasing value of assets. Xenotation Spot administers Energy Efficiency Act and others. Xenotation Spot Energy Efficiency Regulations Impact Xenotation Spot Household Appliances Xenotation Spot Water Heaters Xenotation Spot Heating and AC Equipment Xenotation Spot Lighting Products Xenotation Spot Electronic Products Xenotation Spot Refrigeration Equipment Other Commercial and Industrial Products Energy Efficient Home
Xenotation spot well insulated and airtight with high efficiency heating and cooling appliances that reduce energy bills. Xenotation spot furnished with low flow showers and toilets that lower water usage and heating costs. Xenotation spot using energy efficient lighting and appliances that lower energy and electricity consumption, including ones identified by Energy Star program. Small changes to make home energy efficient. Xenotation Spot use programmable thermostat to automatically lower temp at night and when home is not in use for several hours. Xenotation Spot seal air leaks, weather stripping and caulking. Xenotation Spot replace old bulbs, use Energy Star certified compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, or light emitting diodes, LEDs. Xenotation Spot insulate hot and cold water pipes, Insulate first 2 meters of pipes with foam sleeves. Xenotation Spot upgrade the exhaust fans. Replace existing with Energy Star certified plus use timers to reduce power usage. Xenotation Spot use water saving faucets, shower heads, toilet, toilets. Xenotation Spot use power bars that do not consume standby power with timers or master plugs green building. Xenotation Spot promotes energy efficiency. Xenotation Spot Durability in the Component Products Xenotation Spot Sound Environmental Planning Xenotation Spot Does Everything Rating Systems for Green Building Xenotation Spot Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, LEAD Xenotation Spot Independent Rating System that benchmarks design, construction, and functioning of green buildings run by the Canada Green Building Council, CAGBC, a not-for-profit national organization. Xenotation Spot provides tools for homeowners to measure and improve energy efficiency of their building. Xenotation Spot R2000 encourages energy efficiency and environmentally responsible home construction. Xenotation Spot managed by the Office of Energy Efficiency, Natural Resources Canada. Green Building Features Xenotation Spot Ecological Considerations green roofs, retention of existing trees during construction, etc. Xenotation Spot Indoor Air Quality Xenotation Spot Waste Recycling Slash Diversion, Organic, Grey Water Reclamation Systems, Efficient Toilets, etc. Xenotation Spot Energy Efficiency, Insulation, Smart Window Tech, Shading and Glazing Windows, Stationary Fuel Cell Use. Energide, official mark of Gov of Canada to rate and label consumer items, works with Canada's energy. Efficiency regs and Energy Star Energide program. Xenotation spot administered by Office of Energy Efficiency pursuant to the Energy Efficiency Act and the Energy Efficiency Regulations. Xenotation spot Energide label must be affixed to all new electrical appliances manufacture or imported into. Canada, doesn't mean it's energy efficient, but that it has undergone federal standards testing. Xenotation Spot Energide for Homes, Energy Rating System, 1 to 100 scale, typically 50 to 65 with R2000 above 80. Energy Star Label to most energy efficient products, most homes have 68 but minimum for Star is 80. Can also have Star if qualified under Energy Star and meet specifications and is built by qualified builder. Energy Efficiency Evaluation Report For both new and resale home contains Xenotation Spot Efficiency Rating Xenotation Spot Estimated Annual Energy Consumption and Costs Xeno Xenotation Spot Energy Consumption by End Use Xenotation Spot Estimated Heat Loss Xenotation Spot Recommendations for Retrofits that Will Reduce Energy Use Mod 7, Lesson 6 Ontario New Home Warranties Plan Act Xenotation Spot governs most new home construction, outlines warrant coverage for new homes and condos in on. Xenotation Spot Every builder or vendor selling new homes must warrant that it is constructed efficiently, free from defects, in accordance to Ontario Building Code. Xenotation Spot Provisions Regarding Buyer's Deposit, Delayed Closing, Substitution of finishes during construction. Xenotation Spot The Tar Ion Warranty Corporation is a not-for-profit corp that administers the act on behalf of the provincial government, 
They ensure homeowners receive the warranty coverage, are responsible for ensuring building standards met. Z-Notation spot total coverage capped at $300,000, max of $15,000 to warranty damage involving ENV. Harmful substances, septic system claims max of $25,000, condo common elements for $50,000 times number of units to max of $2.5 million, total coverage for condo projects, units plus common elements, capped at $50 million. Enroll home. Z notation spot anyone building or selling new homes must be registered with Tarion, provincial warranty authority that administers the Ontario New Home Warranties Plan Act and regulates the new home building industry. Warranty coverage. Z notation spot builders and vendors must provide warranty coverage to buyers. Z notation spot home eligible for three warranties with specific coverage for one dash, two dash, and seven year periods. Each warranty for a new home or condo unit begins on date of possession, except for the warranty on a condo's common elements, which begins upon registration of condo declaration and description. One-year warranty. Z-notation spot builder warrants for one year from date of possession that home is free of defects, fit to live in, meets requirements, major structural defects as those in seven-year warranty. Two-year warranty. Addresses. Z notation spot water seepage through basement or founda foundation. Z notation spot defects in materials and work so building envelope prevents water penetration. Z notation spot defects in materials and work in electrical, plumbing, heating. Z notation spot defects in materials and work resulting in detachment, displacement, deterioration of exterior cladding. Z notation spot major structural defects as those in seven year warranty, seven year warranty. Z notation spot major structural defects. Z notation spot any defect in materials or work that results in failure of a load bearing part of the home's structure. Z notation spot any defect in materials or work that significantly and adversely affects the buyer's use of the building as a home salesperson. Z notation spot obtained detailed warranty info from builder or seller. Z notation spot ask builder for registration number and home's enrollment number. Each condo has an enrollment number for each unit and a number for the common elements. Z notation spot when a home resells, warranty stays with the home until end of warranty period. Z notation spot available on certificate of completion and possession sticker located on electrical panel and warranty certificate or contact Tarion. Exclusions to warranty coverage. Z notation spot temporary or seasonal homes. Z notation spot homes built on existing footings slash foundations. Z notation spot homes that have been lived in or rented out by the builder or the vendor before sale to the first owner. Z notation spot existing rental residential buildings converted to and registered as residential condominiums. Z notation spot residential properties held for investment purposes by limited partnerships. Z notation spot contractor erects the shell and owner completes interior work. Z notation spot generally, homes purchased from a trustee or receiver do not have coverage, but contact Tarion. Mod 7, Lesson 7. Ontario Building Code. Sets out minimum standards for building design and provisions regarding building safety, fire protection, and structural integrity. Z Notation Spot Ontario amended the code to allow construction of mid-rise wood buildings up to six floors for more affordability, enhance barrier-free requirements for buildings to support accessibility. Z Notation Spot the Building and Development Branch of the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing administers the code. Ministry reviews and amends the code every five years. Common projects requiring a building permit. Z notation spot cannot construct or demolish a building without a permit. Z notation spot X. Z notation spot finishing previously unfinished spaces, such as family rooms, recreation rooms, or attics. Z notation spot repairing and underpinning of foundations. Z notation spot installation of pools. Z notation spot construction of decks in excess of a specific height above ground. 
Z notation spot construction of any building in excess of 10 square meters. Z notation spot construction of attached and detached garages. Z notation spot renovation or repair of a building. Common projects that do not require a building permit. Z notation spot building an uncovered platform or deck where the deck is not attached to a residential building and does not exceed a specified height. Z notation spot mounting a skylight in a building that does not exceed three floors. Z notation spot recladding a building no exceeding three floors with non-combustible material. Z notation spot installing or replacing appliances. Z notation spot adding or replacing installing furnace boiler. Z notation spot replace windows, doors, roofing. Z notation spot repairing and replacing plumbing fixtures Ontario fire code. Z notation spot safety of occupants in existing buildings through elimination or control of fire hazards, maintenance of life safety systems, establishment of a fire safety plan. Z notation spot fire protection and prevention act allows fire marshal and those appointed by him to enter in emergencies and fire investigations, inspections and related orders, offenses and enforcement, recovery of costs and employment and labor relations issues. Z notation spot fire code requires. Z notation spot all buildings occupied slash visited have fire alarm systems, smoke and heat detectors, carbon monoxide alarms, sprinkler systems. Z notation spot safety of occupants. Z notation spot working smoke alarms on every story, outside of all sleeping areas, single fam or semi detached townhomes. Carbon monoxide alarms installed adjacent to each sleeping area of a single fam dwelling that has a fuel burning appliance, fireplace, or an attached garage. For multifam dwelling like a condo or apartment, alarm required adjacent to each sleeping area where unit has a fuel burning appliance or fireplace, and a common wall or floor with storage garage or service room containing a fuel burning appliance. Z notation spot landlord needs to test carbon monoxide alarms every year, and after a change in tenancy, after battery replace, if battery operated, after any change to electrical circuit, if connected to an electrical circuit. Ontario Building Code versus Ontario Fire Code. Z notation spot safety requirements are regulated by the Ontario Building Code, a regulation under the Building Code Act, and the Ontario Fire Code a regulation under the Fire Protection and Prevention Act. Z notation spot Ontario Building Code applies to construction of new buildings and alterations within existing ones. Z notation spot Ontario Fire Code regulates fire safety in existing structures. Z notation spot Part 3 of Building Code sets out requirements concerning fire protection, safety like fire resistance, separations and closures, firewalls, and equipment, etc. Retrofit requirements. Z notation spot when a new regulations is passed, property may require upgrades or retrofits to comply with it. Z notation spot for single family home, smoke alarms, outside of bedroom areas and on every level, carbon monoxide alarms, adjacent to each sleeping area on each floor. Z notation spot containment. Adequate separation between residential units to protect occupants living in a unit from a fire occurring in the other unit. Z notation spot means of egress, having at least two exists from the unit, such as a door to the staircase and a window easily accessible and large enough for people to climb out. Z notation spot fire alarm and detection, installed on each floor, floor of each unit. Z notation spot electrical safety, Satisfactory inspection of electrical wiring, if issues, will be corrected, reinspect, issue certificate. Mod 7, Lesson 8. Ontario Electrical Safety Code. Z notation spot installing and maintaining electrical equipment. Enforcement of Ontario Electrical Safety Code by the Electrical Safety Authority. Authority provides inspection services. Z notation spot wiring inspections. Electrical work in all new construction and renovations must be inspected as required. Z notation spot general inspections. A visual inspection of a facility or residence by the authority will identify whether any electrical defects need to be corrected. Z notation spot inspection certificates. 
Confirming meet requirements. Xenotation spot inspection required if. Xenotation spot before new services can be connected to the local electrical distribution system. Xenotation spot after upgrades done to electrical service. Xenotation spot before a customer whose electrical service has been disconnected for six months can be reconnected. Xenotation spot before a power can be reconnected at a property that has experienced a fire. For obtaining insurance on a property steps for obtaining a permit. Xenotation spot hire a licensed electrical contractor. Xenotation spot apply for a permit needs to be obtained within 48 hours of the start of the electrical work. Xenotation spot submit a request for inspection. Party conducting electrical work will request for inspection or contact service center to schedule a review by an electrical safety authority inspector of the work for an existing project. If work does not comply with code, inspector issues a defect notice indicating required corrections. Xenotation spot obtain a certificate of inspection. Mod 7, Lesson 9. Compliance with fuel storage tank regulations. Role of Technical Standards and Safety Authority, TSSA, reports to Ministry of Government and Consumer Services. Xenotation spot responsible for regulating all above, gr above ground fuel storage tanks, at or above ground level within a building or a secondary containment. Xenotation spot underground fuel storage tanks pose a great risk, must be registered with TSSA and inspected or fuel will not be delivered to the tanks. Xenotation spot the regulatory controls under the Technical Standards and Safety Act, 2001, apply to a range of activities including installation, testing, maintenance, repair, removal, replacement, inspection and use of appliances, equipment, components, and accessories where fuel oil is to be used as a fuel. Xenotation spot to register an underground fuel storage tank. A homeowner must submit the underground fuel oil application fuel oil application form to TSSA. After approval, the TSSA issues a registration number that the homeowner can provide to the fuel distributor to access fuel supply. Requirements for upgrading slash disposing of underground fuel storage tanks. Xenotation spot may corrode over time. TSSA says underground fuel storage tanks must be upgraded with specific leak and spill prevention equipment or be removed. All tanks currently in use most likely will have been upgraded to the required standards, not apply to tanks that have been abandoned and whose location is unknown. Xenotation spot only a TSSA registered contractor is allowed to install, repair, and or remove an underground fuel storage tank must also be certified as a petroleum equipment mechanic too to work on underground fuel storage tanks. Homeowner must verify contractor's registration number before hiring. If leakage occurs. Xenotation spot property owner must contact a TSS registered fuel oil contractor to help find and stop the leak and clean up any leaked fuel oil. Owner required to call the spills action center of the Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Verify if property has underground fuel storage tank, provide tips to owner to maintain the tank, if he wants to keep it, advise the owner to contact TSSA to confirm existence of tank, technical specification, details of installation, if property contains a storage tank, draft a clause to say they'll have surrounding soil tested for contamination. Calculations Xenotation spot GDS equals monthly housing related costs plus 50% of condominium fees slash gross income x100 xenotation spot freehold purchase does not include common expenses xenotation spot ended at page 87 value of a house xenotation spot revenue expenses equals net operating income Xenotation spot net operating income slash capitalization rate equals sale price calculations. Xenotation spot effective gross income equals gross income, vacancy slash collection loss. Xenotation spot net operating income equals effective gross income, operating expenses. Xenotation spot capitalization rate equals net operating income slash sale price, sale price rounded to nearest $1,000. Xenotation spot income approach, 
gross income multiplier equals sale price slash effective gross income. Z notation spot effective gross income M. Rental units. Net operating income equals gross income operating expenses, vacancy, bad debt, property taxes. Z notation spot status certificate, legal, contact names, financial statement, finances, reserve fund statements. Z notation spot if owners choose not to pay the extra assessment fee, a lien will be placed on the unit within a 90 day time frame. Z notation spot condos can't be shorter than six months and higher owner to tenant ratio is desired. Z notation spot gross debt service, lower than 35% for mortgage qualification. Z notation spot calculated as monthly housing related costs, plus 50% of the condominium fees, slash gross monthly pay and asterisk 100. Z notation spot condominium purchases also include 50% condominium expenses. Z notation spot freehold leases do not.